Welcome to the Northside High School Gym where Harlan, where the Harlan Hawks will be hosting your Medina Valley Panthers. This is District 25, 28-5A Varsity Volleyball action for you tonight. This broadcast is sponsored by North Park Chevrolet in Castorville. I'm Dwayne Garza, and seated beside me is the owner of Medina Valley Broadcast Network, Jeff Stivers. We'll bring you this match live via internet streaming through KMAX Sports. A big hello and thanks to Mitchell back at the KMAX Studios in Austin, Texas for producing this broadcast for us. Jeff, we're in a brand new Northside gym. I believe this is the newest gym that Northside has, is that correct? Well, actually, uh, this gym was built the same time as the new main gym over there off of 1604 at Ferris, which is actually called the Northside, uh, Northside uh, Gymnasium, basically. That is the big one. It's an inner bowl. It's, it's huge. It's big. But this one, as it sits on the campus of Harlan High School, is actually uh, one of the four main gyms that uh, Northside Athletics uses for basketball, volleyball, um, uh, etc. Uh, but as it sits on the Harlan campus, obviously it is Harlan's home gym. It is. It's a beautiful gym, too. I mean, it, the lighting is beautiful. The court's beautiful. The whole environment here is beautiful. They even have a nice little setup where we can broadcast from at the top of the bleachers where they gave us a table and a little broadcast booth. So it, it's, a, it's a real nice environment to broadcast the game for tonight. And we do, as you can see, we do have video for you again tonight. Um, hopefully everything goes well. We had a good our inaugural volleyball broadcast for you on Friday against the Southwest Dragons. Panthers hosted the Dragons in a very, very tough battle. Uh, Dragons came out on top, three sets to none against Medina Valley, and hopefully this this match, it, things go a little bit better for us. We, uh, first time around, Panthers uh, played the Harlan Hawks. Uh, Panthers lost that matchup uh, three sets to one so hopefully we're hoping for a different outcome a better outcome this time around absolutely you know and uh, you and I did the game last Friday against uh, Southwest and this will be the only thing we need to say about it it was ugly it okay? was it was not it, pretty it, we'll it leave was, it at that it was ugly uh, we're moving on and and I hope that the girls were actually looking forward to this game because uh, that's kind of how they play and uh, hopefully tonight they'll come out and they'll you know, it's it's not. We talked about the other night. It's now a you don't you can't take care of your own self anymore. You have to have somebody beat Harlan. Well, it starts with you. You have to beat Harlan that's, first, and that's then you've exactly got to have right. somebody else. And Harlan plays Southwest, who played pretty well last Friday. Harlan plays Southwest next, this coming Friday. Yeah, they they play them on the 16th. They play Southwest, so there, there's still an opportunity for the Panthers to come out on top in district. And speaking of district, right now the 5A Region 4 district. Volleyball standings are as follows. In first place are the Holland Hawks, which we are playing tonight. They have a 12-0 district record right now. In second place is Medina Valley with a 9-2 district record. Followed behind them would be Southwest. Southwest just one game back at a 9-3 district record. And holding the, the fourth spot right now is Southside with a 7-5 district record. And one game behind them is the Floresville Tigers at 6-5. So you have four playoff spots, and you have five really – Five teams really in contention for the four spots. So it, it, it's getting down to the nitty-gritty right now. This is the 32nd game of the season for the Panthers. It, it, this season started way back on August 7th. So it's mid-August before school started. These girls started playing, and they're into our thir their 32nd game so far. There's four games left in the season, four district games left left in the season, and they're all going to be really important at this time. Absolutely. Um you know, uh, one thing you got to do is first, first, first goal right now is you got to clinch a playoff spot. We want to make sure that we take care of business in the next couple of week, uh, games and clinch that playoff spot, and then it's all about positioning after that. So, uh, you know, it starts tonight at Harlan High School in, here in San Antonio, Texas. And just a real quick reminder: this Friday, the Panthers will be, Panther volleyball action will be in the, at the Menina Valley High School gym, and it will be Parents Night, Jeff. It'll be against Eagle Pass win, so I just want to invite everyone to come out this coming Friday for Parents' Night against the Eagle Pass, and obviously that will be a district matchup. Absolutely. So, uh, Dwayne, why don't we go ahead and take our first little commercial break of the evening. Uh, we want to recognize, uh, you know, the people that take care of us and provide the, the uh, sponsorship yeah, that and we it, can do things like this. You and know? by all means, you know, you hear the, the, the advertisements for our, our broadcast. Stop by and say hello. Tell me you heard the advertisement on the, on the broadcast. 
They are great supporters of Medina Valley Athletics, as are a bunch of others. So, but stop by, say hello, tell them, hey, you know, we heard your, your advertisement on the broadcast, and we appreciate your support. So, so with we'll, that, we'll go ahead. This is the north side. This is the <laughs> <laughs> this is Panther Volleyball. <laughs> this is Panther, Panther Volleyball. <laughs> we'll be back after these Sponsor. first advertisements. Thank you. These sponsors. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Here at Medina Valley Broadcast Network, we love all sports. We currently broadcast football, volleyball, basketball, softball, and baseball. We not only serve Medina Valley, we also can broadcast other schools in the area in multiple sports. If your business is interested in having us broadcast a single game or a season, and you want to be part of the action, contact Jeff Stivers at 830-931-4504 or email him at jeff at mvbn.net. At North Park Chevrolet in Castroville, we offer the most exceptional experience in sales and service. Shop our large new and pre-owned selection with complimentary maintenance on new vehicles, upfront posted pricing, 10-day trade-in appraisal guarantee, and a 48-hour return policy. Our factory trained technicians will take care of you after the sale with easy menu pricing, courtesy vehicles, and a complimentary car wash with every service. Come see us at 1955 Highway 90 East or call 210-640-3184. Shop us online or schedule service at npchevy.com. Experience Chevrolet, the North Parkway, MVBN. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball, where your Medina Valley Panthers will be taking on the Harlan Hawks for District for District 28 5A action tonight. Uh, real quick, I want to go over the um, the roster for the Panthers while we got a little bit of time. We probably got a few minutes before we we start any of the the pregame activities, which would be the the introductions and the national anthem. So let me go over the um, the roster quick for the Panthers. Number two is Madeline Sanchez. She'll be a center and defensive specialist. She's a junior. Number four, Spencer McCool, outside hitter and a center. She's a freshman. Number five, Madison Gates. She's a middle hitter and she is a senior. Number six, Kyla Solis, who, who is out for this game. Hopefully she'll be returning soon. She's a middle hitter and she is a sophomore. Number seven, Christine Schuhart. She's a libero and she is a senior. Number eight, Cameron Giggs. Griggs, she is a setter, and she's an outside hitter, and she is a junior. Number nine, Hannah Hurtado, an outside hitter who is a junior. Number 10, Olivia Garza, who is a defensive specialist and is a junior. Number 11, Haley Mitchell, outside hitter, junior. Number 12, Taylor DeWitt, outside hitter and a senior. Number 14, Sierra Nair, outside hitter and defensive specialist. She is a junior. And number 16, Megan Hahn, who is a middle hitter and outside hitter, and she is a junior. Jeff, you can tell we're junior strong this year. We got quite a few juniors on this team. We have uh, one freshman and one sophomore and three seniors. So we're real junior, junior heavy, heavy this year. Oh, the future definitely looks bright. But uh, you know, the uh, thing is, some of these seniors aren't looking for the future. They want to win now. They and, do want to win and, now. And you know, from what they've been through their high school career, it'd be a, it'd still be a great thing to not only make the playoffs but to win a district title and you know these seniors i've been watching them and following all year long they play with a lot of emotion they know what's on the line they know it's their last year and they they've they've tasted playoff blood and they really want to win i mean the the, the three seniors uh christine Sherhart, madison gates and taylor dewitt um they're leaders on this team and and they do take charge and they play with a lot of emotion absolutely so the first time around jeff when we played harlan uh, Medina Valley went up the first set, won the first set, won, and so they took a 1-0 advantage right away, but they lost the following three. Hopefully the Panthers this time around will take the lead and, and they'll keep that, that emotion and, and, and that go get them drive going throughout the match. So hopefully they can take, they can take uh, this match. This is a big match for them. It was a very intense um, match last time. There was a lot of screaming, a lot of yellow, yelling going on. I think we're getting ready to start some of the, the pregame introductions and stuff. If you want to take an extended break right now. All right. Well, you're going to have to give me time to get that extended break set up. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. As you, as you guys know, this is our second show, so we're still learning. We're still learning some volleyball terminology. Um, and, you know, if, if, if you hear someone and they said, well, I wish I would have heard that. You know, I would like to listen to that. Well, they can always go back. These are broadcasts along with all our broadcasts for football. And you can still hear some of the softball and baseball broadcasts last year. They're all like our, all are archived uh, at you go to kmaxsports.com. 
and they're all archived, and you can go find them and and um, and you really listen to all the the history that that's been made this last couple of seasons. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a break. Right. Panther volleyball will return after these messages. Headed out to the game, then make a stop at your local Valley Mart convenience store. With 12 area locations, Valley Mart is always right around the corner. Fuel yourself and your vehicle with quality branded gas and diesel, snacks and fountain drinks. Always convenient, well lit with clean restrooms. Valley Mart, family owned and operated since 1984 and a proud supporter of Medina Valley Athletics and area youth sports for over 30 years. Security State Bank has one simple goal, to be the best bank possible to the families and businesses of South Texas. We believe in superior customer service, active community involvement, fair and honest business ethics, and loyalty. We've been in Castorville for a year now, and we've enjoyed growing with you. Come by 1726 Highway 90 East, or call us at 830-538-9898. A real person will answer, because that's how we do business, with common courtesy and uncommon service. Bank online at securitystbk.com. Security State Bank, South Texas. Equal housing lender, member FDIC. From the time our alarm clock rings in the morning to when we turn the lights off at night, Electricity plays an important role in our lives, but most of the time, we don't even think about it. And you don't have to, because the employees at Medina Electric Cooperative are behind the scenes making sure you get reliable, affordable electricity delivered to your house or business. Your cooperative is here for you, and we have been since 1938. Connect with Medina Electric on Facebook, Twitter, or at medinaec.org. Double T Outfitters offers deer, duck, turkey, quail, and exotic hunts in southwest Texas on over 20,000 low-fenced acres. They facilitate professional guide services, lodging, and fantastic meals while providing the best in southwest hunting. Contact Double T Outfitters to find out details about their current package hunts. Contact owner Brett Ferguson at 210-413-1597 or online at DoubleTHunting.com. Qualifications, rules, and limitations apply. Rates, rewards, and restrictions may vary by account. Contact institution for details. Tickets, popcorn, and sodas. That'll be $35. Cash or debit? Debit! I mean, I'd like to use my debit card, please. Uh, Can I do it? Okay. All right! Swiping now! What if paying with your debit card was always this exciting? Casasa Cashback is a free checking account that pays you for everyday debit card purchases every month you qualify. Plus, with ATM withdrawal fee refunds nationwide, that's a lot of extra cash to spend on whatever you like. Ask for free Casasa checking at Community National Bank. Member FDIC. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We're just about ready to get started here. On the floor for the Panthers is going to be number four, Spencer McCool. Spencer McCool, number five, Madison Gates. Number 12, Taylor DeWitt. Number eight, Cameron Griggs. The libero, number seven, Christine Sherhart. And also in the back row is number nine, Hannah Hurtado. Also, I didn't mention earlier, the staff for the Panthers. Head coach, Miss Disa Griggs. Assistants, Jessica Stein and Morgan Delavar. Coaching the Harlan Hawks is Coach Monica Gonzalez. Hawks will serve first. Received by Sherhart, set up by Griggs. Big hit by Madison Gates, which just falls outside. Hawks take the early lead, one to nothing. Well, it's good to see right off the bat, though, they did come out attacking. At the service line for the Hawks, number 18, Juliana Arguijo. Arguijo with the serve. Received by Sherhart again. Griggs with the setup. Swing by McCool, blocked by the Hawks. Point Hawks. 2-0 Harden. Arguijo with the serve again. Serve to the back row. Fielded again by Sherhart. Madison Gates with the swing to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. Big swing. Block. But goes out of bounds. Taylor DeWitt with a block. But that ball foul, falls outside for another point for the Hawks. Hawks take their early lead. 3-0. Arguijo again behind the service line. 
Short serve to the back row. Swing by DeWitt, but that's going to go out. That ball is long. You know, uh, uh, Cameron has done a good job of getting the ball to the net. They're just not finishing their yeah, spikes. They're not right finishing now. their swings. Argoy Hill with the serve again. Back row, Shearhart once again receiving it with a great pass. Madison Gates with the swing, but it goes out. Panthers having difficulty finding the end, finding the end line there. Coach Griggs with a quick timeout. So Harling goes up real quick on the Panthers, five to zero. So we'll, we'll just take, we'll take a quick break ourselves. Panther volleyball will return in just a minute. M V B N. Vibe Media is the state's most comprehensive high school sports media outlet covering UIL, private schools. Vibe has been in Texas for over a decade. Visit their website at Vibe, V-Y-P-E, Texas.com. And also pick up your Vibe magazine today. Get in the game with Vibe Media. Nobody can design, create, or maintain your lawn better than 3D Landscaping and Irrigation. With over 17 years of experience, owner Ray Doyan and his crew take pride in their craftsmanship and service. They're fully insured, offer free estimates, and multiple references, so you know you're getting the best. 3D does landscaping, lawn maintenance, irrigation, tree installation, lighting, and more. Whether it's residential or commercial, 3D Landscaping and Irrigation has you covered. Give 3D a call at 830-985-9115 or find us online at threedlandscaping.com. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. The Hawks with a quick serve. A rally going on. Gates with a hit. And that's going to go off to the tips. The fingertips of the Harlan Hawks are a point for the Panthers. So Panthers get their first point of the, of the set so far. Harlan still has advantage 5-1. to one. Back to the service line is number four, Spencer McCool. Hopefully the Panthers can get something rolling here. McCool with the serve to the back row, received by the Hawks. A set up to the outside hitter, and that's going to be long for out. That's going to be a point for the Panthers. So the, they're facing some of the issues that we were facing a while ago is, is just not is hitting the ball out of bounds. McCool behind the service line. Attempt their second serve. Floater to the back row. Set up by the Hawks, hit by the middle hitter, received great dig by Griggs. Back row attack by Griggs, dug out by the Hawks. Two-handed push to the back row for the Hawks for a point for them. That was close, you know, good volley there. The girls are yeah, the girls a little bit playing, playing hard. So 6-2 advantage for the Hawks. Number eight, Willis with the serve. Receive on McCool in the back row. Free ball over the net for the Panthers. Big hit, big swinging hit by number five, Jackson. Yeah, you, you're not going to be able to give them free shots like that. I mean, that, well, that ball wasn't. And I can tell you right now. over the net very well. You got to get it away from her. You got to try to get it When you set up number five, five, Jackson, you better be ready for a big yeah, hit because I remember her from quick, last time. Quick jumper. Willis with the serve again, received by McCool. Free ball over the there net by again. Gates. See, here we go again. They're setting up Jackson again. Oh, that goes to the outside. Hit a receive. Great dig by Shearhart. Yep. So the point Panthers. We're not we're not getting that initial good pass. You got to get that initial good pass. Got to get it to your setter. Setter's got to get it to the net. Madison Gates behind the service line for the Panthers with a 7-3 advantage to Harlan right now. Service to the back row, and it's going to be long. Barely. Service error Goodness. for the Panthers. You know, Dwayne, we talked the other day. In and that's Friday's one thing game, we can't have, Jeff. We cannot you know, we, have we, give them three points. Bad, bad, bad serves, and we we couldn't get the ball. What? Not good passes. And you know those those uh, uh, not, uh, self non forced errors. Unforced errors. What I'm trying to say. Sorry. Number 13, Gomez. Now the libero for the Hawks behind the service line. Hawks with uh, a substitution on the rotation. Service the back row, received by Shrewhart, set up by Griggs. Swing by Hahn, received by the Hawks. Big hit cross court by the Hawks, and that's going to be a point for the Hawks. The Hawks go up quickly, 9-3 on the Panthers. Gomez again behind the service line. Served to the back row, received by Hurtado. Free ball of the net by Shearhart. Set up by the Hawks. Outside push 
by the Hawks, set up again by Griggs. DeWitt with a, with a swing and the point. Great kill by DeWitt. Yeah, one thing I noticed there, and I, you know, we've talked about, we don't know a whole lot about the game of volleyball. But it looked like they're attacking from a 6-2 formation, and when you do that, they've got to get back and be ready to attack. Mad Madeline Sanchez Sorry. behind the service. I tried to sound line for the, It's a 4-2 four two, two formation. If they were in a 6-2 formation, they'd be uh, well, uh, too and Jeff, many players. There's another one of them service errors. So we have yeah, two service errors for the Panthers now. Already in the first. So it's a 10-4 advantage, the Hawks right now. The Hawks will send back behind the service line. Number nine, Hanspard. Hanspard with the serve which is a short serve that falls between the front row and the back row for an ace. And that's one of those unforced errors, you could almost say, because uh, no one knew that each player looked at each other on who was going to take that. So no communication there. So 11-4 advantage on the Hawks right now. And Spar with the serve again. Serve's going to go to the back row, dug out by McCool. Free ball over the net by McCool. Set up by the Hawks. Great dig by McCool. Hurtano with a swing and it just, just falls short. So the Hawks real quick, now with a 12-4 advantage. It looks like the Panthers are going to take their second timeout. So with that second timeout, we'll take a timeout also. Panther Volleyball will be back after these messages. MVBN. Sammy's Restaurant and Havy's Alsatian Bakery. Two legendary landmarks in Castroville. From breakfast to delicious hometown lunch specials and more, Sammy's satisfies your taste buds with the unique flavor of Castroville. And from fresh baked breads to pies and pastries, South Texans have made Havy's Alsatian Bakery a must to visit since 1940. Sammy's Restaurant, online at sammysrestaurant.com. Havy's Alsatian Bakery, online at havysbakery.com. MVBN. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We're in set number one, the district match with the Harlan Hawks. Harlan's got the advantage 12 to 4. Dwayne, uh, I'd like to mention to everybody that we will not be having our sports show this week uh, due to the fact that the uh, sub varsity football games are tomorrow night. They are on Wednesday night, and all the coaches are going to be tied up with. So them. JV and freshmen will be playing tomorrow night. JV will be at. Um, at the Medina Valley's home field against the Kennedy Rockets. Served by the Hawks, received by Griggs, set up by Sanchez. Swing by Cameron Griggs, dug out by the Hawks, set up. Outside attack, received by, by Shrewhart, set up again once more. And that's going to be long on, on the swing by Hurtado. So 13-4 advantage Harlan right now. Number nine, Hanspart still behind the service line for the Hawks. Served to the back row, received by McCool. Set up by Sanchez. A swing by Griggs. That's going to go out on the cross-court swing. Panthers struggling with a little bit right now, keeping the ball inbounds. Hans with the serve again. Middle back row. Big swing by Hahn, but it's blocked by the front row, the Harlan Hawks. So that's going to be point Harlan. Hanspar again behind the service line. That ball's going to go to the back row again to McCool. Set up by Sanchez. Back row attack. That's going to be out. Hannah Hurtado with the back row Dwayne, swing that goes out. Dwayne, we're having, we're having issues of even putting the ball in play. I mean, you can't have unforced errors if you no. don't even put the and ball in play. We're having a lot of unforced errors, and that's going to be our first substitution of the night. Hurtado will go out. And number 11, Haley Mitchell will come in. Serve goes to the back row. Free ball over the net. Received by the Hawks. That's going to be set up for an outside attack. Great dig by McCool. Ball set up. Sanchez with a free ball over the net. The Hawks are setting it up for a swing. It's going to be a little push tip over the front of the net. Get the ball set up the by Sanchez. Uh. Pushed by Griggs over the net. Sanchez with a dig. The set's going to be short of the net. It's going to be too tight, and, and, and it's going to hit the floor. So that's going to be another point for the Harlan Hawks. So Benito Valley struggling in this first set. The Hawks still with a 17-4 advantage, and Hanspart is still at the service line. Service dug out by McCool, set up. 
set up in, in a swing, an off-speed swing by swing Hahn, and, and it, it finds a hole on the floor. <laughs> so that's going to be a well-deserved point there for the Panthers. Absolutely. So 17 to 5 right now is your score. Her title back in, Mitchell, Mitchell out. Her title will go behind the service line. Panthers need to roll off some points here in this first set. Tottles serve to the back row. Received by the Hawks. Set up, outside hit. Nice dig by Sanchez. Griggs with a hit that goes into the net. So point Hawks. So 18-5 advantage for the Hawks, and that'll bring number seven to the service line for the Hawks, Falaha. The serve to the middle back row, set up by Sanchez. Big swing by Griggs, but it's blocked. Blocked by the front row of the Hawks. That was actually a great, a great block by the Hawks. Yeah, Griggs hit that one on the nails and uh, just hit it right into him. The service to the back row received by Schuhart. Outside attack by Griggs. is going to fall right in front of the, out, the outline, so that's going to be point Panthers. A well-needed point there for the Panthers. You know, right now, Dwayne, they need to run off a few points just for confidence. Yeah, they do. 19-6 score right now. Christine Schurhart behind the service line now for the Panthers. She'll serve. Her serve goes to the back row. Re received by the Hawks. They set up a big swing. Blocked by Madison Gates. Another setup for the Hawks. Dug out by Christine Schurhart. Madison Sanchez with a dump over the net. Outside attack by the Hawks. Blocked by McCool. Ball falls in for a point for the Panthers. There you go. So Panthers string a couple of points together. Hopefully they can get something going here. 19 to seven now in the first set. Christine Sherhart still behind the line serving for the Panthers. Get something going with number five on the bench <laughs> for Arlen. Sherhart serves the outside back row. Set up by the Hawks. Gonna be a free ball over the net. Oh. Nobody there to receive it for the Panthers. It'll be point Hawks. That's a mental mistake with no communication right there. So number five checks back in for the Panthers with Jackson. Those are those mental mistakes, Dwayne. Jackson's going to be the one to watch because he'll be setting her up. Martinez now behind the service line for the Hawks. Received by Schuhart, set up by Sanchez. Outside hit, it goes into the net. McCool's outside hit goes into the net. Now it's a 21 to seven advantage of the Hawks. Martinez again back behind the service line. Serve will go to the back row to Sherhart. Sanchez will do the set again. Madison Gates with a little off-speed swing. Received by the Hawks. Tip over by the Hawks. Sanchez with the set for the Panthers. Backdoor set that will be called for a double, I believe. Yeah, it's called for a double. And folks out there, a double means that uh, you, you, when you set it with two hands, you got to, both hands have to touch the ball at the same time. If it's not, then it's called a double. It's a double hit. So Martinez back again with the serve. And that's going to go to the back row, received by Griggs. Set back up to Griggs. Lefty with a big swing and attack from the outside. You know, and that's going to be point Panther. Well, so 22 to 8 right now, the score. The difference there in that attack was she attacked the net. Yeah. You know, she didn't just jump from her position. So rotation change. Sanchez goes out. DeWitt comes back in. Griggs behind the line with the serve. Serve goes to the middle back row. Set up by the Hawks. Big swing by the Hawks. Dug out, blocked and dug out by the Panthers. Hawks setting up again. Back row attack. It's going to fall short of the net for a point for the Hawks. So rotation, rotation changes for the Hawks. That will bring in number 18, Aguijo, for the, the Hawks behind the service line. So 23-8 to eight is the score with the Hawks advantage. Serve goes to the middle back row to Schuhart. Set up by Griggs. Outside hit by DeWitt that goes into the net. Point for the Hawks, 24 to eight. We have set point for the Hawks. Aguijo again with the serve. Serve to the middle back row. The, the, the pass, it was just too tight for the net for Griggs to set it up. And that's gonna be set one with a score 25 to eight. The Hawks take set one. So the Panthers got some work to do. So they'll, they'll take a couple of minutes. They'll reverse size. The Panthers now will be on your left. The Hawks will go to the right side. 
And we'll take a short break here and come back for set number two. This is Panther Volleyball. MVBN. Every team knows that the two-point play can be a winning move. That's why State Farm agent Hazel Russell and her team are here to help you go for two by combining your home and auto insurance. It's a great call that saves you time and money. So go for the win and score savings by combining your home and auto. It's just another way we're here to help life go right. Call State Farm agent Hazel Russell at 830-931-3441 today or stop by her office at 1103 Highway 90 West in Castroville. Weather in South Texas is unpredictable. That's why our neighbors in Medina Valley trust Four Winds Air Conditioning and Heating for residential and commercial service. Four Winds provides maintenance, repairs, equipment upgrades, and heat load calculations for new construction design and installation. Four Winds offers financing on anything over $300. Family owned and operated since 2006. Four Winds Heating and Air Conditioning. Call 210-892-2925 or on the web at number 4windsacandheat.com. MVBN. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We are at Harlan High School where the Menina Valley Panthers are taking on the Harlan Hawks for District 28-5A. Set one is complete with Harlan taking, I believe it was a 25-8 first set advantage. Um, Panthers did not look good at all that first set. A lot of errors. I, you know, I try to keep some stats, but I only saw two, three kills and at the most. We had at least three service errors. You know, with, with eight points, you're not going to get many kills. Yeah, I think one of the things I noticed, Dwayne, is uh, is kind of a carryover from last Friday. A uh, lot of unforced errors. You know, I think the, the name of the game is to get the ball in the other team's court and make them make the mistakes, you know, and we were just giving them the ball. Well, the, pa the Panthers are lacking confidence right now, Jeff. This is their fourth set they've lost in a row. So I think it's a confidence thing. They're, they're not playing with confidence. They're, they're worried about getting that ball in the net. They're worried about keep keeping it in. They need to, they need to attack, like you said earlier. They, they, they need to go up there and just attack and just go with what they know. They've been Like we yeah. talked about earlier, I think this is their 32nd game. They need to play like it's their 32nd game, and they need to come and, and, and play hard and attack and, and let the experience take over. Absolutely. Uh, remember it is a game. Let's play and have some fun. Um, talk to each other out there. I kind of saw some of the girls biting back at each other. You know, hey, we all want to do that. We all want to Well, win. you know, and that's and, one of the disadvantages. You played, tough times, you played 32 games already, and you've gone through a long season, and not to mention they had a summer season where they played together, and they played quite a few games too. So, you know, um, it's been a long season. So they just need to play like they know how to play. And Panthers, they will. Coach Panthers Griggs. coming out of the huddle for set number two. On the floor will be number 12, Taylor DeWitt. Number five, Madison Gate. Number four, Spencer McCool. Number eight, Cameron Griggs. Number 16, Megan Hahn. And number nine, Hannah Hurtado. And Christine Sherhart will come in and sub right away as Libero. And she'll take the place of Hahn. Now, if you haven't noticed, the libero always wears the off curly jersey. She can enter, enter, enter the game at any point on the back row without checking in. That's the point of the libero. Griggs behind the service line to start set number two. Serve goes to the back row, received by the Hawks. Set by the Hawks, cross coat swing. Received by Panthers, big swing by McCool. Dug out by the Hawks, pushed over the net. Great save by Gates. Swing by Griggs. Hawks are setting it up. Big swing from the outside, cross-court swing, and that's going to go in for a kill for the Hawks. So the Hawks will take a quick one to nothing lead on the Panthers. Willis will go behind the service line for the Hawks. Service to the back row. Free ball over the net by Hurtado right away. Set up and a cross-court swing by the Hawks. Say dug out by Griggs nice little off-speed swing by McCool and it falls in for a point for the Panthers so the Panthers have their first tie of the game they have one-to-one -one match right now or one-to-one -one set Panthers back behind the service line that is McCool getting ready for the serve serve nice serve that's going to be an ace for McCool there you go that ball found a spot between the front row and the back row for an ace that's our first ace for the Panthers tonight. McCool behind the service line again. See she can't float one in there. Little float serve. Same spot. They'll dug out by the Hawks. 
a little tip. Nice save by Dig and save by McCool. Nice other dig by, by Griggs as it came right back across. Free ball goes over the net. The Hawks need to get it over. They, they went under the, under the net for point Panthers. So Panthers receive a point. Panthers take their first lead of the, of the, of the match now. So a 3-1 advantage for the Panthers. McCool behind the service line again. Let's see if we can get something rolling here for the Panthers. McCool with the serve to the back row. Pass to the setter. Swing by the Hawks is going to go into the net for an unforced error. So Panthers with another point. 4-1 advantage, Panthers. McCool back behind the service line again for the Panthers. Nice short serve again by McCool. Dug out, though. Big swing by number five, Jackson, for the kill. So the Hawks get a point there. Score now, Medina Valley four, Harlan Hawks two. The libero back behind the service line for the, the Hawks. Number 13, Alexa Gomez. Gomez with the serve. Dug out by Sherhart. Big swing by Gates, and that's going to find the outside corner for a point for the Panthers. Big swing by Gates. So the Panthers go up five to two. Rotation change. Han will come in. Libero, will, uh, Sherhart will go out. Madison Gates will go behind the service line. Gates with the serve, middle back row, set up by the Hawks, outside swing, oh, it's gonna be a push that finds, oh, it found the floor. Griggs made a great effort trying to get to that ball, but the point goes to the Hawks. So 5-3 advantage Panthers. The Hawks will take the serve. They'll do a, rota a rotation change, and that'll bring in number nine, Hanspart again for the serve. Serve into the net. Unforced error for the Hawks. Give the Panthers a point. Score now six to three, Medina Valley. Rotation change for the for the Panthers. Madeline Sanchez in the game. Taylor DeWitt will come out. Sanchez will go behind the service line. Serve to the back row, set up by the Hawks. Outside swing. A hard, a hard kill. That ball was hammered. Panthers could not get to it, so that's going to be point Harlan. So our score, Benita Valley 6, Harlan 4. Girls are playing with a lot of energy, Dwayne. Falaha behind the service line now for the Hawks. Serve to the back row. Received by Griggs. Panthers are going to have to give a free ball over the net. Set up by the Hawks. Outside hit is blocked by the Panthers. Ball's back the in ball play. Never cleared. I don't think it did. Panthers setting it up. Swing by Hahn. Received by the Hawks and pushed back over the net. Panthers are going to set up. Sanchez with, that, with the set. And a one-handed push that falls in the outside corner by Griggs. That's going to be point Panthers. Great little rally by, between both teams right there, and it resulted in a point by the Panthers. So Medina Valley now with a 7-4 advantage. Hurtado back behind the service line. Hurtado with the serve. It's going to go to the back row. It's going to be tight against the net. Little push over the net by the Hawks. Set up by the Panthers. Griggs with a swing. Blocked by the Hawks. That's set up. An outside hit. Received great dig by great dig by Sherhart, but it was a little tight to the net where our setter Sanchez could not get to it. So that's going to be point for Harden. So Medina Valley with a 7-5 advantage. Hawks will take the serve. Behind the service line will be number 10, Martinez. Martinez with a service area into the net. Point Panthers. So our score, Medina Valley 8, Harlan 5. Christine Sherhart behind the service line now for the Panthers. She enters the game. Nice serve, set up by the Hawks. Dug out by Sanchez, set by Sherhart and a swing by Griggs that's gonna go out behind the back line. Girls. So that's gonna be a point for Harlan. Keep playing girls, keep playing. So our score, Benita Valley eight, Harlan six. Hawks will send behind the line number 18, Arguijo. 
Service to the back row. Dug out by Sherhart. Swing by Griggs. Get him. That's going to be long also. I mean, they're giving an effort, and they're swinging hard. They're just they're, that Those are just a little long. Yeah. You know, that's set. So Harley now within one. Medina Valley. Wait a minute. What happened? I think we had a tip. I don't know what the call was. It they must, gave the point to Medina Valley. Must what, have had a tip. Whatever it was, we'll take it. So our score now, Medina Valley 9, Harden 6. Griggs behind the, the service line now. Serve to the middle back row, and that's going to be an ace for Griggs. Nice serve by Griggs. Back row could not get to it. Well, this is what uh, I was expecting to see more of out of our girls. Griggs behind the line now with a 10-6 advantage. Serves in the same spot in the back row, but Harden's there to receive it. It's set up. Big swing, big dig by, by Shuhart. Set up by Griggs. Gates with a big swing that's blocked by the front row of the Hawks. There again, you got to get it over the net. Give your team a chance. Number eight, Willis, behind the service line now for the Hawks. Received by Shuhart. Big swing by DeWitt. Dug out by the Hawks. Outside set. Set up by DeWitt. Little push over the net. Two-handed push by Griggs in the back corner again. She likes that back corner, and that's going to fall in for a point for the Panthers. But now with a score of 11 against Harlan, 7. 11 to 7 is our score now in the second set. Now serving for the Panthers, number four, Spencer McCool. Serve to the back row. Set up. Little tip by the, by the Hawks. Panthers were there for it, though. Uh -huh. Set up again by the Hawks. Going to be a big swing. Big swing by the outside hitter for the Hawks, and that's going to be a point. So our score, Medina Valley 11, Harlan 8. That will bring Gomez to the service line, the libero for the Hawks. Serve is to Hurtado, dug out. Gates with a little push over the net. Pushed back by the Hawks. Set up by Shuhart. Swing by DeWitt. And that's going to fall to the floor. A kill for DeWitt. Taylor DeWitt with a kill for the Panthers. And that's our score now. As source 12, Benita Valley, 8, Harlan. Libero change out. On back in the game. Libero, Shuhart is out. Madison Gates behind the service line for the Panthers. Service to the middle back row. Going to be set up by the Hawks for the outside hitter. And that's a little push never that never cleared the net. That ball never cleared the net. I don't understand why they did not see that. So the point's going to go for Harlan because it fell in, but that ball never cleared the net. And this referee is right in front of this. Uh, it may have been only two referee. hits, though, when she did that, though, Jeff. I didn't keep track. So our score, we need by 12, Harlan 9. That's Hansbard with the serve. Set up by the Panthers. Little push by, there you go. by Han, and then Han gets there you it. Go, it goes back to Han, and Han goes up for the kill. A nice little swing by Han, and it falls in for the kill. So our score, Manita Valley 13, Harlan 9. Rotation change. DeWitt will come out. Sanchez will come back in for the serve. Sanchez with the serve to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. To be an outside swing, which is going to be long. Point Panthers. So Point Panthers, that's 14 for Medina Valley, and Harlan has nine. Keep rolling, girls. Keep rolling. Harlan will call timeout. So the Panthers now with a 14-9 lead and a timeout for the Hawks, and we're going to take a timeout also. Panther Volleyball will continue after these messages. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Sometimes it seems like banks try to make things too complex. At Broadway Bank, they're removing the complications and offering services some other institutions won't, like the all-new Broadway Bank free checking. Open it on your mobile phone in as little as 90 seconds. It's fast, easy, digital, and free. Discover the all-new free checking and other ways they're innovating local banking by visiting Broadway Bank at 1006 North Fiorella Street or call 830-538-9023. Free checking subject to approval. Conditions and restrictions apply. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Harlan High School. 
where the Mini Valley Panthers are taking on the Harlan Hawks. We're in set number two. Menina Valley has the advantage in set number two, 14 to nine. The Harlan Hawks took set number one. We're coming off a Harlan timeout where they needed to stop the bleeding because the Panthers rolled off a few points there in a row. So we'll start where we left off where Madison Sanchez will be behind the service line. It'll be Sanchez, Shearhart, McCool, Hurtado, Griggs, and Hahn for the Panthers. Service to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. A little, a, a little tip that did what went awry is what happened there. She just mis hit the ball. So a little high. The ball hits the floor. Point Panthers. 15-9 advantage for the Panthers. Sanchez again behind the service line. Serve barely clears the net. Great serve by Sanchez, but received by the Hawks. Set up on the outside, but it was too far outside, and it doesn't even get to the net when she tried to, to swing at that ball. So point Panthers. Panthers now with a 16-9 advantage. Sanchez still behind the line. The serve by Sanchez is back middle row again. Received by the libero. Hawks setting it up. Little tip by the Hawks. Set up by the Panthers. Griggs pushes it over the net. Received by the Hawks. They're going to try setting it up again. Outside swing by the Panthers. I mean by the Hawks. It falls in for the kill. Yeah, that, that's your one set away right there. You, you didn't get the set that you needed, and it allowed them to have a free ball over there. Served by the Hawks. Received by the Panthers. Set up for an outside hit by Griggs. Nice dig by the Hawks. Nice swing nice by the ball. Hawks, but blocked by Hahn, and it falls to the floor for a point for Panthers. So Manila Valley with a 17-10 advantage now. Hannah Hurtado will go behind the line, the service line now. Panthers playing with a little bit of confidence now, scoring some points. Service error. Service error goes into the net. That'll be point for the Hawks. Ah, can't have that. Can't have the service errors. Can't have that. You're rolling. You're up 17 to 10. You cannot have a service error at that. Rotation jump. change for the Hawks to bring up to serve. Number one, Victoria, Victoria Gallo. Gallo with the serve. To the back row received by Shearhart. It's going to be set up by Sanchez. Good set. Big swing by Griggs, and the lefty finds home. Hammer swing by Cameron Griggs for a point and the kill for the Panthers. 18-11, advantage Panthers. Good job by Camo there, but it all started with a good pass and a good set. That's exactly right, Jeff, and that's what we need to do. Served by Shuhart, goes in the middle back row. Almost had an ace there, but they, they saved it. Free ball back across, set up by the Panthers. Big swing by Gates. That was saved. By the Pan saved by the Panthers. They called a double They're hit. They're calling a double hit on, on Harlan. So pa advantage Panthers. We get the point. So our score 19 to 11, Medina you Valley. Know, Dwayne, this is one thing that Disa had talked about in one of our coaches' shows. Sure. Right with the serve. Set up by the Panthers. Big swing by Griggs, and that's gonna that's gonna find home also. Great kill by Cameron Griggs who brought the hammer down. Well, I was saying, uh, Coach Griggs had mentioned in one of our shows, they play with a multicolored volleyball just for that instance. So the yep, referee could see the spin change sure, and know that it serve. was a double hit. Panthers playing with some emotion and confidence now. Great serve. Received back over. Medina Valley setting it up. Going to be another swing by Griggs, and it goes off the block. Why not? Saved keep by feeding. the Hawks. Keep feeding it. Uh, uh, big swing by the Hawks. It goes off off a block and goes out. So our score now, Medina Valley 20, Harlan 12. Panthers still with the advantage. That's going to bring number 18 of the service line for the Hawks. Arguijo is going to be serving again. The Hawks serve is going to go to the back row, received by Shearhart, set up by Sanchez. Little push shot by Griggs, set up by... Set up That's by in the net. Uh, number five, Gates into the net is what the call is. So that's going to be a point for the Hawks. 20-13 now is our score. Arguijo again with the serve. That's going to go to the back row, received by Shuhart, set up by Sanchez. A little push by, by Gates, received by the Hawks, set up for their outside hitter. Cross-court hit 
is dug out by Sanchez. Set up and blocked though. Sanchez with a set, big swing by Griggs, and that's gonna be that's gonna fall in for another kill. So Griggs having an outstanding second set. Panthers now with a score of 21 to 13 advantage over the Harlan Hawks. Rotation change, DeWitt back in, Sanchez out. Griggs behind the service line. Ball's gonna go to the middle, back middle. It's gonna be set up by the Hawks. Little tip, a little tip, but blocked by Gates and pushed back down and it's gonna fall, it's gonna find a spot on the court for a point for the Panthers. Sure now our score, Medina Valley 22, Harlan 13. Griggs is gonna be behind the line again. Service to the middle back row. Set up by the Hawks. Going to be an outside swing for the Hawks. Panthers won't be able to get to it. Yeah, Valiant they, effort by Shearhart to get that. When to, they needed to uh, break the serve, they went right back to their bread and butter, yeah. number five. Yeah, well, she's, she, she can really hammer the ball. Ayana Jackson. Yeah, Jackson. Yeah, quick leaper, and she's strong. So our score, Medina Valley 22, Harlan 14. Willis back for the serve for the, for the Hawks. Received by Shearhart. Riggs is going to set it up. It's going to be a free ball over the net by DeWitt. And they're having trouble. The Hawks are having trouble with it, so they're going to have to get it right back. And that ball blocked by the Panthers, and it rolls along the tape of the net and just happens to fall inside the line. So Panthers will take a point there with a score 23 to 14 advantage. The Panthers are finally starting to get some of those breaks. Some they're getting those, breaks, uh, and they're playing with confidence. They're swinging now with authority, and that's what they needed to do. McCool back behind the service line for the Panthers. She's going to serve the ball to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. And that's going to be a free ball over the net. Her toddler receives it. He's going to set it up. Griggs will set it up for Gates. Gates, push, Gates pushes it to the back, but the Hawks are there. McCool with the dig. Back door set up for DeWitt. Nobody covered. That's blocked and falls on the side, Medina Valley side, for a point for Harlan. Well, that was tough. Had so everything set up right there, Dwayne. 23-15 advantage still the Panthers. The Hawks will do a rotation change, and that'll, serve, that'll send behind the service line number 13, the, their libero, Gomez. Gomez with a serve to the back row. Set up, right side attack by DeWitt. It's going to fall off the fingertip block of the Harlan Hawks, and it falls to the floor. That's going to be point. Panthers and we have the Panthers now have set point 24 to 15 Gates will go behind the line Gates behind the service line for set point the serve is to the back row Hawks have trouble with receiving that serve free ball over the net set up for Hurtado Hurtado with the attack received though by the Hawks Gates setting it up for the it's going to be a swing by ha by Han. That, That's a, like that was a off. lift. <laughs> sure did look like it. It sure was. Hurtado with a push. Set up by the Hawks. Outside hit by the Hawks. Griggs with a set up for DeWitt. DeWitt's cross court swing. There it is. It's going to be off one of the, the Hawks players for set point. So Medina Valley takes set number two, 25 to 15. Panthers playing with a whole lot of confidence. That was much better. You know, you could tell that the girls were were playing. They, not to say they weren't playing hard in the first set, and not to say they weren't playing hard against Southwest, but you could really tell the intensity there. Yes. Pick up. They got and the confidence level. That's right. And they, they, they were swinging freely, you know, with, with, with power, with initiative. They were trying to, they, with confidence, you know, that's what I've been saying. That's what they were lacking in the first set. And they finally won a set out of the last five, and it's good to see the old Medina Valley back, Jeff. Absolutely. And uh, Dwayne, while they're breaking, we're going to we're going to take a break. I'm going to take a drink of water. It's a lot of talking for me. So we'll be back after these messages. Panther volleyball will return. M V B N. Peerless Equipment, your South Texas irrigation experts. Peerless Equipment specializes in sales and service of irrigation equipment to the agricultural and wildlife industries. This includes hose reels, big guns, pivot systems, underground pipelines, turbine well pumps, booster pumps, motors, valves, and an inventory of much more. Stop by one of their locations in Hondo and Pearsall or give them a call at 210-434-7867. Peerless Equipment, bringing water to you. 
QRC Health Mart Pharmacy is the pharmacy for Castroville. QRC Health Mart Pharmacy has an experienced staff with over 20 years of patient care, offering a full-service pharmacy for all of your prescription, specialty, diabetic, and over-the-counter needs, including free blood pressure monitoring and a convenient drive through Most major insurance companies and plans accepted. Open 9 to 6 Monday through Friday and 9 to 1 on Saturday. QRC Health Mart Pharmacy, here to stay. 408 Highway 90 West in Castorville. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Well, welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We just completed set number two. Panthers took seven, set number two. The Hawks took set number one. So we're lined up for an exciting set number three. Pan the teams have switched sides. The Panthers will now be on your right-hand side. The Hawks will be on the left-hand side. And uh, we're, we're all scored away at one apiece on set. So this is going to be an exciting finish to this match. And, and uh, you know, we had a little conversation there. Cameron Griggs just put the Panthers on their back, and she, she, th they rode her to, that, to, to the finish that set there. Great job by Cameron. Absolutely. You know, and Cameron, she, half the time she's on the floor, she's the setter. She's the number one setter. And then the other half, she becomes their, one of their better outside hitters. And uh, she, she, she did. She did a great job there. Well, let's and, let's uh, see if that confidence goes to the rest of them. You know, hopefully it's contagious. Yeah. The Panthers will put out on the floor in the front row. They'll have Dewitt, Gates, and McCool. The back row would be Griggs, Hurtado, and the libero, Christine Sherhart. So it's the standard rotation, the standard starters for the Panthers. They're going to go with what brought them here. So the Panthers now, if you look at the girls. they got smiles on their, face, their, their faces. They're, they're ready to play. They, they can't wait for this third set to get going. So the Hawks will be at the service line first. Looks like they'll start out with number 18. Arguijo will Wayne, be serving. I, didn't, I don't know if we mentioned, but uh, all of you at home can see over there, Harlan has a full crowd. And that's not a good start. But that's okay. That's Ar okay. Arnold so has a, the whole football teams are here. All the football teams. I see the football coaches. The, Jeff, there's a lot of electricity the in the air. They, yeah. They've got a full house they here. They have their cheerleaders and all down probably, on the floor, And they have their uh, pep squad up and, in the stands. And our stands are probably two-thirds full. So there's a lot of people here tonight. I'll go ahead with, with the serve again. Set up for Gates. Received by the Hawks. Outside hit by the Hawks, and that's going to find the floor. So right away, the Hawks go with a 2-0 advantage. And that's okay because the Panthers came back from a disadvantage at the beginning of set number two. You don't want to get too far in the hole, though. So they need to break the serve right here. So Arguijo with the serve again. It's going to be to the back row. Received by Hurtado. Set up by Griggs. It goes to the back row. And Christine is, uh, Sherhart just did not good hit that ball very well and it went to the net so that's going to be another point for Harlan. Coach Griggs pacing the sideline trying to get the girls yeah. refocused. 3-0 lead by Harlan. Served to the back row. Received by McCool. Set up by Griggs. It was blocked. It brought back into play. Griggs pushed it over. Outside swing by the, the Hawks. Set up by Griggs. Outside swing by McCool. Hawks are having trouble with it but they get it back over the net and that's received by Shuhart. Griggs will set it up again. Madison Gates with a big swing, but blocked by Jackson. You know, uh, with number Point. five, with number five sitting in there in the middle, you probably yeah. need to keep it away from the middle. Point Harlan, <laughs> four zero advantage, advantage for Harlan right now. Aguijo still behind the service line for the Hawks, and that's going to be a service error in the net. So four quick points by the Hawks. Finally, Medina Valley will get the serve back. So it's 4-1 to one advantage. McCool behind the line for the Panthers. She's going to be the first server for the Panthers. Her serve is a floater to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. Free ball over the net by the Hawks. Set up by Griggs. Big push down swing by, by Gates, which is saved by the Hawks. Griggs is going to set it up again. Outside hit by Hurtado, but that's going to that's gonna fall out. It's going to be outside the sideline on the near side. So that will bring back behind the service line number eight, Willis, for the Hawks. Service to the back row, received by Cool, set up by Griggs. Gates with a swing, and that's going to find the floor. Point Panthers. Panthers pick up their second point. 
5-2 score now. Advantage Hawks. Gates will go behind the service line now. Gates with a serve to the back row. Set up by a little push over the net. Set up by Griggs. Pushed back by Hahn. Hawks will be setting it up for an outside swing. Set up by Griggs. An outside swing by DeWitt. And that's going to go long. So that's going to be a point for the Hawks. 6-2 score now. Gates out. Libero back in. Shrewhart for the Panthers. And that will bring the Libero back to the service line for the Hawks. Number 13. I believe that, that's Gomez. Gomez with the serve. To the back row, received by McCool. Set up by Griggs. A little tip by Hurtado. Hawks are there, they're setting it up for, for a swing, and that's gonna, they're gonna swing, that ball's gonna go into the net for a point for the Panthers. So Panthers with another point. 6-3 advantage Harlan. Rotation change, DeWitt will come out, out, out of the front row. Sanchez will come back in to, ser to serve and take over the setting duties. Sanchez with a serve, and that's going to go into the net for a service error. Unforced error there. You really, you really have to avoid stuff like that, Dwayne, when you're when you're behind. You know, it's you one know, thing you, when you're ahead to avoid those, but when you're behind, you really got to. You know, so the service errors are just free points for the other team. Right. Number nine, Hanspard, serving for the the Hawks. Received by Griggs, and it'll be set up by Sanchez. Swing again by Griggs. That's going to be dug out by the Hawks. Never cleared. It, Never cleared. Yeah, they got it. Yeah, that point time. Panthers. They try to set up a swing and, and it a little push, but it went into the net. So it didn't even go over the net. So they'll be point Panthers. So Harlan 7, Medina Valley 4 is our score now. Hurtado behind the service line. That serve is going to be a nice serve. A little short in front of the back in the fr front of the back row. Brought back across by the Hawks. Set up by Sanchez. It's going to be a swing by McCool. Dug out by the Hawks, but it went all the way to the Panthers side. So the Panthers are going to set it up. It's going to be a swing, uh, Griggs. That's going to be out. So a point for the Hawks. Our score now, Harlan Hawks 8, Medina Valley Panthers 4. Falaha now with the serve. Received by the Panthers. Set up. Pushed over by Griggs. Hawks setting it up. An outside tip by the Hawks, set up by Sanchez. Big swing by Griggs, and it's tipped, so that's going to be Point Panthers. So Griggs with another kill. Our score now, but Harlan 8, Medina Valley 5. And that'll send the Libero behind the, the line for the Panthers. Number 7, Christine Sherhart. Sherhart with the serve to the back row. Harlan will try to set it up. It's going to be a back row attack. Great dig by Sanchez. Ball back into play by Shuhart. Free ball over the net by Griggs. Set up by the Hawks. Going to be an outside hit. Dug out by Griggs. Push over the net by Gates. Set up again by the Hawks. Nice dig by Sanchez. Set up. Swing by McCool. And that's going to go off the fingertips of a Harlan back row person for a point for the Panthers. So a kill for McCool. So our score now, Harlan 8, Medina Valley 6. Medina Valley getting back into this game. The key to that volley there, Dwayne, was breaking that, breaking that, uh, that, breaking uh, the, that, the hit. Sure, Hart with the serve to the back row, received by Libero. Hawks setting it up. An outside hit, blocked by McCool, falls back on Harlan's side, but they're there. Oh. So they, they tipped it back over, and it's off the, the outreached hands of Madison Gates, and it's going to follow the floor for a point for the Harlan Hawks. So our score now, 9-6. to six. Okay, they need to check. Number five's in the game for Harlan. Harlan with a rotation change, and that'll bring to the service line number one, Victoria Gallo. Gallo with the serve, received by Griggs. Going to be set up outside for the outside hitter for Griggs. Griggs takes a swing, received by and dug out by the Hawks. Another outside hit by the Hawks. It's going to get past Christine Sherhart for the point. So point Harlan. Our score now a 10 to 6 advantage Harlan. Gallo with the serve. To the back row received by Sherhart. Set up by Sanchez. Big swing by Gates though. Dug out by the Hawks. 
Number five, overpowered yep. gate. Yep, they were, the ball was, was right over the net. Two girls went up for it, and the Hawks came out on top on that, so it's going to be another point Hawks. Our score now, Harden Hawks 11, Medina Valley 6. And while they, Medina Valley takes a timeout, we'll take a timeout here too, and Panther Volleyball will return after these messages. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Tondrake Wynn Funeral Home in Castroville, Texas, has been providing funeral services to families in the Medina Valley and surrounding areas for many generations. Tondrake Wynn Funeral Home is proud to support the broadcast by the Medina Valley Broadcast Network for the athletes and students participating in this event. Go Panthers! Tondrake Wynn Funeral Home, Castroville, Texas. You may view obituaries at Tondre, T O N D R E Gwyn, G U I N N dot com, or visit the Facebook page of Tondre Gwyn Funeral Home to view funeral notices. You're watching. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We are in set number three. We have a uh, one set tie between each each uh, team between the Harlan Hawks and Minion Valley Panthers. The Harlan has right now in set number three with 11-6 advantage and they will be serving also. So that is Gallo behind the line serving to the Panthers received by Griggs. Little tip over the net by Griggs and that's gonna find the floor for another point. Griggs having an outstanding match so far. Our score now, Harden 11, Medina Valley 7, and that's going to bring Griggs behind the service line, and we'll have a rotation change where Sanchez uh, goes out and DeWitt comes back in for the front row. Griggs with the serve to the back row. Going to be set up by the Hawks, an outside swing by Jackson, and it goes straight down for the point. What a kill by Jackson. Yep, that was... Uh... <laughs> she brought that ball straight down. It's going to be hard to block that one. So 12-7 score now, advantage Hawks. Hawks will bring number 18, or Guijo, to the behind the service line. Serve to the back row, Sherhart. Set up by Griggs. Mm -hmm. Got to get on top. Gates with the, with the swing, but it's going to be long for a point for the Hawks. Yeah, Gates was just a little, little low on that one. She got to get on top of that one and bring it down. 13-7 score. Our Guijo again with the serve. Service the back row. Sherhart will receive it again. Nice dig. Set up by, by Griggs and a little tip over the net by DeWitt. Hawks are setting it up for an outside swing. Received by Sherhart. Set up by Griggs. Just pushed over. Hawks were there. Back row swing. Huge back row swing. That gets lost in the rafters. It's a good dig attempt, but it went straight up and got lost in the rafters for point for Harlan. So 14-7 now is the score. Another quick timeout for the Panthers. So Panthers will take a break right now. We'll take a break for a second. Medina Valley Panther Volleyball will return after these messages. Visit MVBN.net for great articles on all your favorite coaches, players, and more at MVBN.net, the official website of the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. At North Park Chevrolet in Castroville, we offer the most exceptional experience in sales and service. Shop our large new and pre-owned selection with complimentary maintenance on new vehicles, upfront posted pricing, 10-day trade-in appraisal guarantee, and a 48-hour return policy. Our factory trained technicians will take care of you after the sale with easy menu pricing, courtesy vehicles, and a complimentary car wash with every service. Come see us at 1955 Highway 90 East or call 210-640-3184. Shop us online or schedule service at npchevy.com. Experience Chevrolet, the North Parkway. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Harlan High School with, for Panther Volleyball. Panthers coming out of their timeout. We're in set number three with a 14-7 Harlan advantage. Arguijo with the serve again as we come out of the timeout. Set up by the Panthers. McCool with the swing. Hit to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. Big swing by the Hawks, but blocked by the Panthers being set up. Big swing by Gates, and that's going to come go. off the hands of one of the front row Hawks, and it's going to fall to the floor for a point. Dwayne, she got on top of that one. She got up on that one. That was a good swing by Gates. Brought the hammer down there for a point. So our score now 14-8. to eight. Panthers now with the serve. Spencer McCool is going to be behind the line with the serve now. 
Serve to the back row, nice serve. Hawks are there, set it for outside, blocked. Big swing by the Hawks. But Gates was there for the block and the ball finds the, the ball on the court. So that's Point Panthers. So Harlan with a 14-9 advantage. Panthers are trickling back into the game. McCool behind the service line again. Nice ace. serve that gets just barely gets over the net for an ace. Nice serve, my cool. Just barely gets over the net, nice and low, and it falls a, a nice spot on the finds a nice spot on the floor between the front row and the back row. A 14-10 now score. Harlan coach changed the rotation. McCool with the serve, a floater to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. Outside swing by Jackson, and that's going to go straight down to the floor for another kill for Jackson. It looks like it worked for her. She was trying to get the ball to number five. So 15-10 now. Harlan will take the serve. Number eight, Willis behind the service line for the, for the Hawks. Serve to the back row, received by McCool. Set up by Griggs. Big swing by Hurtado, the blocked. Wow, big swing by Hurtado that was blocked and went off the blocker's hands. But one of the Hawks got a foot into it and got it back up in the air, but it didn't quite get over the net. So point Panthers. So 15-11 now is our score. Coming back, we need our crowd to get loud. Gates with the serve, a floater. And that's going to be an ace for Gates. A floater that falls between the front row and the back row. They could just barely got a hand on it, but wasn't quite enough to get back over the net. So point Panthers. 15-12 now is our score. Gates again behind the service line. Gates with the serve to the back row. Nice serve. Nice serve, but dug out by the Hawks. Back row attack for the Hawks. Received by McCool. Nice dig by McCool. Hahn with the swing and the kill. Hahn bringing the hammer down this time. Panthers pull within two. Our score now, the Harlan Hawks 15, Medina Valley Panthers 13. You know, Megan Hahn's length and stuff, you would think she's in that game more than just for middle blocking. You know, she needs to be used out on the wing some too. Well, she should do the whole front row. She does the whole rotation through the front row, Jeff. Does she? Oh, yeah. okay. Gates with a, swing, with a serve, and that's going to go to the back row. It's going to be set up by the Hawks. Big swing, but blocked by her title, but that's going to go out. So Coach, Coach Griggs questioning the call because he doesn't think it went over the net. They're saying it was tipped. So that's going to be a point for the Hawks. So our score is 16-13 advantage Hawks. That will bring behind the service line Gomez for the Hawks. Served to the back row. Received, dug out by McCool. Another swing by Hahn. Gets it back up. Pushed back over by Griggs. They're going to call a lift on the Panthers on that. So point Hawks. So 17-13 now to score. Yeah. As soon as the Panthers got in the game, they, they lost a yeah, couple Cam of points. Cameron tried to go real quick on that one again and probably should have pulled it on back out and set it up. See if the Panthers can break the serve. Gomez with the serve. McCool again with the dig. Set up. Ah. Swing by Hong, and that's going to be long. Point for Hawks. 18, that's going to be, yeah, 18 to 13 now is going to be the score. Gomez still behind the line. They've got to break the serve here. Gomez's serve is going to go to the back row. Received again by McCool. Set up by Griggs. DeWitt with a big swing that's going to go into the net for a point for the Hawks. So 19-13 now our score. Not sure your timeout situation, but timeout may be coming here pretty quick. Uh, not sure how many timeouts you get. The Hawks kind of run away with it a little bit here. The Panthers need to get it back in the game. Set up to Hurtado. Hurtado. There you go. Hurtado with a big swing, and it's off the blocker's hand and falls to the court. No timeout needed. Point well. Panthers. Let's get some momentum going here. Serving specialist coming in. So 19-14 now. In for the serve is number 10, Olivia Garza coming off the bench for DeWitt. Serve is over to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. Swing. Nice dig by Sherhart. Set up by Griggs. And the next swing by Hurtado. Dug out by the Hawks, though. Outside swing. That one may have been going out. Yeah, that, that ball had some was traveling. Uh, Christine just on reflex got got up and touched the ball, and it um, it went out for a point for the Hawks. So 20 to 14. So guards are just in for the serve. Switch back out with Sanchez. Sanchez back in, going to be doing the setting duties. And that will bring behind the line number nine, 
Hanspard will be serving now for the Hawks. 20 to 14 is our score. Serve to the middle back row. Set up by Sanchez. Swing by Hahn. Dug out by the Hawks. Outside push. Nice save by Sanchez. Free ball over the net for the Hawks. Sure Hart setting it up for Hurtado. Hurtado with a swing that's blocked. Saved by Hahn. Outside swing by Griggs. And that's going to go in for a kill. Griggs bringing the hammer down again to the back row and it was too hot to handle and went for point for the Panthers. So a score 20 to 15. Hurtado will now go behind the line for a serve. Service to the back row. It's going to be set up by the Hawks. Outside swing. Nice save by Shea Hart. Nice save by McCool. Free ball over the net. Hawks are going to set it up. Heading up for an outside swing. Nice save by Hurtado. Nice dig. Free ball over the net by Hahn. Nice dig by the, the Hawks. Free ball back over from the Hawks. Set up by Sanchez. Swing by McCool. Free ball back over. Sanchez setting it up. Swing by Griggs. Nice dig though by the Hawks. Outside swing and a block by the Hahn. By Hahn. Free ball back over. Sanchez with a save getting it back. Free ball back over from Griggs. Hawks are going to set it up for an outside swing. Nice save by Shuhart. Griggs puts it back over the net. Free ball back over from the Hawks. Sanchez is going to set it up for a swing by Hahn. It's going to find the floor. What a nice ball. rally. Nice rally by both teams. That ball went back and forth quite a few times, but Panthers will take advantage on that point. To the score now, Harlan 20, Medina Valley 16. Very exciting so far, Jeff. That was. Hurtado yeah. behind the service line. Received by the Hawks, put back into play. Free ball over the net. Hahn's going to set it up for Sanchez. It Sanchez again. sets it back up to Hahn. There you Who go. goes in for the kill? Feed Hahn. Feed her. Feed her. Feed her. Point Panthers. 20 to 17 is our score now. Two kills in a row for Hahn. Hurtado again serving for the Panthers. Hawks do a rotation change. Hurtado with a serve to the back row. Dug out by the libero. Set up for an outside swing. That's, That's going to go long. An outside swing goes long for the Hawks. Hawks are asking for a tip, but there was no tip there. So point for the Panthers. Our score now, Harlan 20, Menina Valley 18. The Hawks are going to call a timeout. And with that timeout, we're going to take a timeout too. Panthe Volleyball will return in just a few seconds. M-V-B-N. Headed out to the game? Then make a stop at your local Valley Mart convenience store. With 12 area locations, Valley Mart is always right around the corner. Fuel yourself and your vehicle with quality branded gas and diesel, snacks and fountain drinks. Always convenient, well lit with clean restrooms. Valley Mart, family owned and operated since 1984. And a proud supporter of Medina Valley Athletics and area youth sports for over 30 years. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. Panthers finding a way to come back into this third set, Jeff. A 20 to 18 score right now. Medina Valley down by two, but they were rallying some points there. One right after another, and the Hawks had to call timeout to put a stop to the bleeding there. Yeah, we're seeing a whole different team right now, Dwayne. I hope they can... Keep it up and, you know, scratch a couple more out. Hurtado behind the service line for the Panthers. Serve goes to the back row. Dug out, set up by the Hawks. Outside swing, outside tack is received by Shuhart. Nice dig. Set up by Sanchez. The lefty with the swing, and that's going to be another kill for Griggs. That's Point Panthers. Ten. That's 10 kills, I believe, now for, for Cam and Griggs. So 20 to 19 is our score. A substitution for the Hawks. Number 19 coming in now the game. Number 19, Martin. Hurtado again back behind the service line for the Panthers. One point set right here. The serve for the Panthers is going to be just about 12 inches long. Just long. So a service error for the Panthers. 
Our score, 21-19. to 19. This one's going to go down the wire, it looks like. We can't afford to give him any free points here, though, Jeff. Yeah, that's a rally killer. We've got to break it here. Falaha with, the, with the, Falaha with the serve, set up by the Panthers. The lefty with the swing, and that's going to be another score. kill for Griggs. That's a great set. Cameron has been really had some really nice sets to be able to do that. The Panthers doing a really good job at the, in the, at the, at the net. So our score, 21 to 20. Still in favor of the Hawks. Panthers have got the momentum going, though. Sure, Hart behind the service line. Service going to be to the back row. Harden's going to set it up. Try for an outside swing. Outside Never swing win. is blocked by Gates. Ending into the net. So there's a little bit of both. Point Panthers. So guess what, Jeff? We have a 21-21 tie right now. Tie game. Tie game. Set number three. The sets are tied one to one. Sherhart with the serve is going to go to the back row. Hawks are setting it up. Going to be a back row attack. It's going to be a tip. Saved. Nice dig by Hurtado. Set up to Gates. Gates with a swing. And she's going to get a kill. Panthers are doing a great job setting up the ball now. And the front row girls are really bringing the hammer down well, on the Hawks. Yeah, you're... So Panthers have taken the first lead of set number three with a 22 to 21 advantage, and that's going to force the Hawks to take another timeout. So they're going to take a timeout. We're going to get another drink of water, and Panther Volleyball will return after these messages. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Follow us on Twitter at MVBroadnet. Tweet and retweet scores, schedules, and more. Tweet at MVBroadnet for MVBN. Visit MVBN.net for great articles on all your favorite coaches, players, and more at MVBN.net, the official website of the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We've got an exciting match going on for you today. The sets are tied one apiece. We're in set three. Medina Valley has a one-point advantage over the Harlan Hawks, 22 to 21. We're coming out of a timeout. Shearheart behind the service line. Panthers have got momentum going on their side right now. Shearheart serve is going to be to the back row. Set up by the Hawks for an outside attack. That's long. That was long. She lets it go. It's out. Yep. I mean, that's just a reflexive. Yep. Reflexive yeah, uh, she, move you, by yeah, Shearheart. There's nothing wrong at. with that. I don't know where you're at on the floor. So we have a tie ball game again, 22 to 22. Hawks get the point there. A lot of electricity in this gym right now. A lot of people on their feet. Need a break right here. Gallo with the serve for the Hawks. Received by Sherhart. Set up by Sanchez. Another swing by Griggs. That's going to be dug out by the Hawks. Push back over. Christine's going to set it up for Griggs. Block, oh, push back to the back row by Griggs. They're, they're going to call that a lift. Yeah, the place, the Medina Valley side is going crazy. She threw it. Uh, I mean, that was. They're calling that a lift. I've seen that happen many a times, but that has not been called. But they're going to give the point to the Hawks. So that's going to give Hart an advantage, 23 to 21. They're served by Gallo, is going to go to the back row. Griggs will dig it out. It's going to be set back up. Griggs is going to, serve, is going to swing, and that ball is going to go into the net. Dwayne, watch the uh, the Harlan server. I've, I've noticed this in the first match when she came in. She gets so really, really close to being over that line. Set point for the Hawks, 24-22. The serve is going to be dug out by Shrewhart. Gates with the swing, dug out by the Hawks. Going to be set up for an outside attack. Dug out by Shrewhart. Nice dig set up. A back, back door push by McCool. Push back across by the Hawks. Sanchez setting it up for Griggs. Dug out nicely by the Hawks. That ball is out to the Panthers. Now with a 24 to 23 score, they're one point down. No mistakes here. So Griggs behind the service line. Sanchez comes out, goes out. DeWitt back in, 24 to 23. The serve is over to the middle row, set up by the Hawks. Going to be a back row swing. Dug out by Shearheart. Set up by Griggs. The hammer brought down. Oh, a save by the Hawks. Free ball back over the net. Griggs setting it up for Gates. Gates with a push. It's going to find the floor. Tie Point game. Panthers. We have a tie game. 24 to 24. Set number three. Tied at one set apiece. 
Griggs behind the line again. Griggs with a serve. Floater to the back row. Dug out by the Harlan. Set up back row. And it's going to be blocked and blocked out. So point Hawks. So you have to win by two. It's a 25 to 24 game right now. Hawks advantage and they have the serve. That'll bring them to the service line. Aguijo again for the Hawks. Again, they got to win by two. 25-24. Serve to the back row. Dug out by Sherhart. Set up by Griggs. Gates with a push to the back row. Saved. That's it. Yep. That's Good three. Yep. So point Panthers. Four hits by the, the, the Hawks. So it's another tie game again. 25-25. That'll bring McCool back behind the service line. We have a stoppage. We have an official timeout. Not sure what that's all about. So we have a 25-25 tied game in set number three. Checking our timeouts. Okay, so we have McCool back behind the service line. So we're going cool. A floater to the back row. Dug out by the Hawks. Setting up for outside swing for Jackson. Jackson Missed miss hits the ball. She miss hits the ball and it falls to the floor. Looks like the serve was, a, or the set was a little wide. So the Panthers take a one point advantage, 26 to 25. Got a win by two. McCool back behind the line. Serve goes to the back row. Dug out by the Hawks. Going to be set up for Jackson. Jackson's going to do a little push, which is dug out by Hurtado. Set up by Griggs. Push by Madison Gates. And it falls to the floor. And the Panthers take set number three with a score 27 to 25. Great effort by the Panthers coming from behind. Jeff, they, they started out, I think they were four, four points down, 4-0 four at the beginning of that set. And a lot of determination and fight to come back and take that third set. Absolutely. So the Panthers take a 2-1 set advantage. Girls uh, responded well. Uh, they've won two games in a row now. Let's see if two they sets can, in a row. Two sets in a row. Let's see if they can uh, close it out. But we're gonna go ahead and hear from a few of our sponsors. Everybody's all excited. Um, hopefully, you're out there listening. Uh, we appreciate everything that these sponsors do, and uh, we're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break. Take another drink of water, and Panther volleyball will return for an exciting finish after these messages. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. At North Park Chevrolet in Casterville, we offer the most exceptional experience in sales and service. Shop our large new and pre-owned selection with complimentary maintenance on new vehicles, upfront posted pricing, 10-day trade-in appraisal guarantee, and a 48-hour return policy. Our factory trained technicians will take care of you after the sale with easy menu pricing, courtesy vehicles, and a complimentary car wash with every service. Come see us at 1955 Highway 90 East or call 210-640-3184. Shop us online or schedule service at npchevy.com. Experience Chevrolet, the North Parkway. Here at Medina Valley Broadcast Network, we love all sports. We currently broadcast football, volleyball, basketball, softball, and baseball. We not only serve Medina Valley, we also can broadcast other schools in the area in multiple sports. If your business is interested in having us broadcast a single game or a season and you want to be part of the action, contact Jeff Stivers at 830-931-4504 or email him at jeff at mvbn.net. Headed out to the game? Then make a stop at your local Valley Mart convenience store. With 12 area locations, Valley Mart is always right around the corner. Fuel yourself and your vehicle with quality branded gas and diesel, snacks and fountain drinks. Always convenient, well lit with clean restrooms. Valley Mart, family owned and operated since 1984. And a proud supporter of Medina Valley Athletics and area youth sports for over 30 years. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Harlan High School. We are in the middle of a set here. We got about 30 seconds here before we get started again. And I just want to introduce everybody to the head boys basketball coach here at Harlan High School, Jarvin Hall. Jarvin, thanks for joining us. Hey, Jarvin, can you tell us a little bit? Do y'all have any seniors in the school here as a brand new school open in the second year? Oh yes, definitely. It's our very our very first varsity season here, so 
All the juniors we had last year are now seniors, so we got a little bit of uh, senior leadership on the court, especially on this volleyball uh, team. I think they have about four seniors. Our basketball team, we're looking at about having about four or five seniors as well. So, so seniors. So that was one of the questions that a lot of people from Medina Valley have been asking. You know, do they since they're only two years old, do they have any seniors? So y'all do have some seniors, but not a full senior class yet. So. Hopefully uh, here in this next few years, y'all are going to be having a senior class. You're going to be real competitive, and, and uh, hopefully uh, uh, we're going to build some kind of a tradition to, against playing you guys uh, in the future. But uh, we're going to let Dwayne call a few of these until we get some dead balls. Go ahead, Dwayne. Well, Jeff, we're starting set number four of a five-set five possible match here. So you've, if we play five, it's a three out of five. Griggs already in service line, already a point for the Panthers. Griggs serving again. It's going to be returned, dug out by Harlan, and set up a free ball back over the net. Sherhart's going to dig it out. Gates with a big swing, but that's going to fall out, I believe. So, Jarvin, tell me Oh, again. it's going to be tipped. It, it was tipped. All right. It was tipped, so Panthers will take the point, and it's going to, they're going to go we to 2-0. We don't have a lot of time in between sets, Jarvin, but I appreciate you coming up. And, no problem. And telling us, uh, you know, that was one of the main questions. You can hang out fans. for a timeout. Yeah, you can hang around for a timeout if you want, or... Big, or, uh, you big know, swing for the Hawks. Again. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks, Jarvin. Big swing by the Hawks, and that's going to be a 2-1 to one score now. Medina Valley up 2-1. to one. Again, we are in the fourth set. Medina Valley holds the 2-1 set advantage over the Hawks. Served by the Hawks, dug out by Shearhart, set up for DeWitt. DeWitt with a swing off the block. Hawks setting it up. Being outside swing for the Hawks. Received again by Shearhart. Gates with a push to the back, but it's going to be out. So that's going to even up the score at 2-2. Two to two. The Panthers with DeWitt, Gates, Hurtado, Sherhart, McCool, and Griggs on the court right now. Willis serving for the Hawks. Dug out by McCool. Nice dig. Tip over the net by DeWitt. Set up by the Hawks. Outside swing. Gates got a piece of it, but it got passed and found the floor. So point for the Hawks, three to two advantage. We are in set number four. Willis back again with the serve to the back row, dug out by McCool, set up to McCool. McCool's but the swing and that's gonna be long. Point for Harlan, four two advantage. So kind of starting out the same way they had to the previous three sets, which means we know we can come back. Received by McCools. Set up by Griggs. DeWitt's going to take a swing. Dug out nicely by the Hawks. Set up for an outside swing. Panthers are going to get a piece of that before it goes out, but that's going to be a point for the Hawks. So 5-2. That ball may have gone out, but it, that's one of those tough things where you're not sure and you've got to try to at least get a piece of that ball. So 5-2 advantage for the Hawks. Willis behind the, the line again for the Hawks. So it was the back row, received by Shearhart. All back over and swung, but blocked. Panthers get the ball, they're setting it up. Greg sets it up, pushed to the back row by Gates. Dump, little dump. Great save by Griggs, pushed back over by Hurtado. Set up by the Hawks. Outside swing by the Hawks, and that's gonna go out by, back behind the line. So Panthers with the point. 5-3 score now. Harlan with the advantage. That's going to bring McCool back behind the service line. Little discussion between the referees. Not sure what that's about. They're giving the point to the Hawks. I don't understand why. Wish they'd give a call so we could at least try to interpret what, what's going on. Giving an explanation to Coach Griggs. And she agrees with it, apparently. So our score, 6-2 in favor of the Hawks. Will it still with the serve? Two McCool set up by Griggs. Big swing by Gates. Gates brings the hammer down for the point. 6-3 now your score. Scoreboard here shows 10 kills now for Gates. So Gates with 10 kills and Griggs with 11 kills. McCool now serving. 
Server's going to be the short back row set up by the Hawks. Free ball over the net. Pushed all the way to the back corner by Griggs, and that's going to fall into the corner for a point. So our score now 6-4. to four. Advantage Harlan. McCool still with the serve. Cool the serve to the back row. Going to be set up by Har Harlan. Swing dug out by McCool. Set up by Griggs. Free ball over the net by Hurtado. Set up by Harlan. Harlan with a tip and blocked <laughs> by Madison for the kill. Number five sure does like to use her feet, doesn't she? Yes. <laughs> she tried to kick that one. So point Panther. So 6-5 now. Medina Valley turning back into the game. I wonder if she's a beach volleyballer. You know she may be. McCool still with the serve. Floater to the back row. Going to be set up. Big swing by Jackson, but it's going to go out. Out on the near side. So this evens up the set number four with a score of 6-6. Six to six. And McCool still keeping the serve for the Panthers. Harlan now having issues with unforced errors. McCool with the serve. Set up by the Hawks. Outside swing Cleared. that goes into the net. Point Panthers. So Panthers take the advantage now in set number four, seven to six. Panthers playing with a lot of heart right now and determination. Well, a team like Harlan, you don't want to keep letting them back We're, in. we're limiting our errors, and that's a great thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Serve to the back row by McCool. Set up by the Hawks. Cross court, little punch. Outside hit by her title, dug out by the Hawks. Set up for an outside hit. Oh no. That's gonna fall for a point for the Hawks. That'll even up the score now at seven to seven. Rotation change for the Hawks. And that'll bring Gomez to the service line. Gomez with the serve to the middle back row. Dug out by Sherhart, set up by Griggs. Going to be a swing by DeWitt, set up by the Hawks. Swing but dug out. Uh. Swing by Hurtado, the hit goes deep. Long for the point for the Hawks. So 8-7 advantage for the Hawks. Gomez with this, keeping the serve. Serve to the back row. Received by McCool. Set up to Gates. Gates with a little tip shot that's going to hit the floor for a point for the Panthers. They were expecting a big swing by Gates there. She just kind of pushed it over and it just barely made the floor for a point for the Panthers. And that also bring her to the service Gates, line. Gates has done a good job of mixing that up today. Yep. All scored up at eight. The serve by Gates is a little floater. Set up by the Hawks. Outside push to the back row by the Hawks that finds the floor for a point for the Hawks. So the Hawks now will take the advantage. Nope, they gave the point to the Panthers. Scoreboard says nine to eight Medina Valley, but it's the other way around. Hans Warder with the serve, set up by Griggs, a little push over the net by Hahn, set up again by, by Harlan. Dug out by Griggs, set up by Sherhart, and the swing by DeWitt for the kill. So now it's squared away at nine. Rotation change for the Panthers. Olivia Garza coming in the game, DeWitt going out. Garza coming in for the serve. We have a 99 set four. Garza with a swing, just short of the, the back row. Set up by push shot over. Hong with a push back over, set up by the Hawks. Hawks gonna go try for an outside hit. Hurtado got a hand on it, but it, was, it goes out. And I think they're gonna say point Panthers. Not sure why, but we'll take the point. Garza with the serve again. Serve to the back row, received by Libero. Set up for an outside swing. That one went off of us. So they're calling that off of 
the front row, and it goes out off one of the front row blockers, and it goes out. So Garza will come back out of the game. The point goes to Harden. Garza back out of the game, and I think Sanchez comes back in. Sword by the Hawks, set up by the Panthers. Griggs with the swing that's going to ride the tape to the floor. Just like she drew it that, up. You couldn't draw it up any nicer. That thing rolled halfway down the tape of the net till it found the floor, decided to drop, and it dropped right to the floor. So Manita Valley taking the 11-10 lead. Hurtado behind the service line with the serve to the back row. It's going to be set up for the Hawks. Nice dig by Sherhart. Set up by Sanchez. The lefty going to swing again for the Panthers. Nice dig by the Hawks. Set up by Hahn. Hahn with the swing, and it's going to fall. Hahn with the swing. It goes to the back row of the Hawks. The Hawks, the Hawks try to return it into the net. Doesn't quite make it, so the point's going to go to the Panthers. So the Panthers take a 12-10 lead. Hurtado still behind the service line. Serve's going to be to the back row. Received by Libero. Set up. Outside swing. Nice dig by Sherhart. Sanchez setting it up. It's going to be a free ball over the net. Hawks are setting it up. Swing. Nice dig by Sherhart. Hurtado setting it up for Griggs. Griggs with a swing. The Hawks are there. They're going to push it over the net for a tip. Back up and over by the Panthers. <clears throat> Hawks are now setting up for an outside swing. Hurtado just couldn't quite get to it. So that's going to be Point Harlan. So our score, Harlan 11, Medina Valley 12. Dwayne's getting a little hoarse here. I don't think he can handle five games. Uh, I'm, not, I'm taking a mid-drink, <laughs> mid mid-set drink. Gallo with the serve for the Hawks. To the back row, received by Hurtado, set up, and a swing by Griggs. And that ball is going to make it to the bench, so it's going to be another kill for Griggs in the point Medina Valley. 13-11 now lead for the Panthers. That's 14 kills tonight for Griggs. So sure Hart behind the service line. Nice serve by Griggs to the middle back row. It's going to be set up by the Hawks. An outside swing by Jackson. Nice dig by Hurtado, brought back in and over in a free ball over by Gates, set up, big swing oh. by Jackson. It was blocked by the Panthers, but it just rolled along the tape like it did earlier with Griggs and went out of bounds. So that's going to be a point for Harlan. So Medina Valley with a one point advantage, 13 to 12. Now will bring to the service line number 18, Arguijo again. Arguijo with the serve. To the back row, nice dig by Sherhart. Hawk setting it up, a little push. Uh, Swing by Griggs is just going to be a little long for a point for the Hawks. So the Hawks tied up 13 to 13. We're in period number four, set number four. Medina Valley holding a two to one set advantage. Agrejo with the serve again. To the middle back row, dug out by Sherhart. Gates with a little roll shot over the net. Harlan setting it up. Swing. Saved by the Panthers. Free ball back over the net. Great job getting it back over. Nice block. Jackson up for the block. Jackson up for the kill. Oh. Blocked by the Panthers, and I don't know what they're calling. They're saying, I don't know what they're saying. They're saying it went out. I guess it did go out. I don't know. I don't it know. It looked like it from here. But, uh, Nevertheless, uh, Panthers call a timeout with our score. Harlan 14, Medina Valley 13. Harlan has taken the lead now. And with that timeout, we'll take a timeout. And Panther Volleyball will be back after these messages. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Peerless Equipment, your South Texas irrigation experts. Peerless Equipment specializes in sales and service of irrigation equipment to the agricultural and wildlife industries. This includes hose reels, big guns, pivot systems, underground pipelines, turbine well pumps, booster pumps, motors, valves, and an inventory of much more. Stop by one of their locations in Hondo and Pearsall or give them a call at 210-434-7867. Peerless Equipment, bringing water to you. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. 
Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We are in set number four with a 14-13 Harlan advantage. Harlan with the serve. Agui Hill with the serve. Received by Sherhart. Set up by Sanchez. Big swing by Griggs, but that's going to go long. So a two-point lead by the Hawks, 15-13. Agui Hill will keep the, the serve. Panthers just coming out of a timeout. Serve is received by Sherhart, set up by Sanchez, swing by there Gates, and that's going to be a kill for Gates, point Panthers. What do they say in Top Gun, you, or what, what that movie, the volleyball movie, aim for their elbows. <laughs> aim for their elbows when you're going up for those kills. So 15-14, Harlan advantage, Griggs behind the service line. Serve to the back middle, set up by the Hawks, Jackson with the swing, and a kill. That one went right into Hannah's nose. Yeah, there's nothing you could do with that. So, 16-14 advantage Hawks, and that'll bring to the line number eight, Willis for the Hawks. Little, little clarification and explanation given to the Panthers. Going to get, get it back to Coach Griggs. She had a question, and that's how you run your questions in. Harlan to serve. Serve the back middle. Swing by Three. Gates oh. is going to find the back corner for a point for the Panthers. Another kill for Gates. So, Dwayne, I noticed that Friday night. Is the coach not allowed to talk to the officials? No, they, you have to run it in through a captain, I believe. So, 16 to 15, one point lead by Harlan. That's 13 kills now for Gates. Spencer McCool, the freshman for the Panthers, now behind the service line. Floater to the back row. Set up. Little push by the Hawks, received by McCool. Pushed back by Gates. It's going to be fall to the floor. Nice little tip by Gates. It falls to the floor for a kill. It's 14 That's kills 14 for Gates. kills now for Gates. So the Panthers tied up 16 to 16. McC McCool still behind the service line. She was behind the service line when we rattled a bunch of points uh, the previous set. Nice serve, but dug out. Big hit, big swing by Jackson for the point for the Hawks. You know, Jackson, she just leaps over everybody. Yep. I mean, she, she gets above Well, the her rotation is done, Jeff, so she is yeah. going to go sit out. So maybe the Panthers can take advantage of it now. The Hawks have a one-point advantage, 17-16, to 16, and that will bring up Gomez, the libero, to the service line. Server's going to be to the back row. Dug out by Hurtado, set up by Griggs. And another big swing and a kill for Madison Gates. Panthers tied up, 17-17, 15 kills now for Gates. And that'll bring Gates to back to the service line. Big push hopefully here for the Panthers. Served by Gates, over the net, barely set up. A little push by the, the Hawks to get it back over. Griggs does the same thing, trying to find a spot on the back row. Set up by the, the Hawks, they push it back over with a free ball. Hahn with a free ball back over to the Harlan side. Hawks are setting up for an outside swing and a kill. Point Hawks. The so Hawks will take an 18-17 advantage. Rotation change for the Hawks as they'll bring um, number nine, Hanspar, to the service line. Serve is to Sherhart, set up by Griggs. Swing by Hahn, and that's going to be a kill for Hahn. Nice job. Point Panthers will tie it back up, so we have an 18-18 tie. We are in the fourth set. Panthers hold a 2-1 advantage, set advantage. Garza going back, going in for the rotation change for DeWitt. She'll be in for her service duties. Nice serve over the net, almost for an ace. They dug out nicely by the Hawks. Greg setting it up. Swing by Hurtado. They called the lift. They're going to call a double on Griggs. That'll be point for the Hawks. Sanchez in, Garza out. Falaha back in for the serve for the Hawks. Serve to the back row, dug out by Griggs, set up by Sanchez. Big swing by Griggs, dug out nicely by the Hawks, but not quite over. That's going to fall to the floor. Whoa, no, no, no. I knew it. They were all... Okay, they, they gave the point back to us. They just called it to the wrong side. Well, so the point goes to the all, Panthers. Every one of the girls out of the corner of their eye after yes. that ball went in, they're all looking up there at this. So a 19-19 score. 
Hurtado back behind the service line. Served to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. A little push by the Hawks and it finds the floor. A little tip over the front row defenders and it finds the spot on the floor. So rotation change for the Hawks. Jackson back in for the Hawks. Harding with a 20 to 19 advantage. Gallo with the serve now for the Hawks. Serve received by Hurtado. Set up by Sanchez. Swing by Griggs and was not handled by the Hawks. Another kill for Griggs. Point Panthers and that's gonna tie it up 20 to 20. Rotation change. Hahn out. And I believe that's Sherhart back in. Libero going back in for the back row. She has the serving duties now. Serve to the back row, nice serve. Set up, save, dig it, dig by Sherhart. Set up for Gates, Gates with a little push shot, then pushed back across. Set up by, by Sherhart and a push shot by Griggs. It goes off of Brocker's hand and falls to the floor for a point for the Panthers. So the Panthers take a one point advantage. So 21 to 20 is our score. The Hawks will be calling call the timeout. So with that timeout, we're going to take a timeout. And Panther Volleyball will be back after these messages. M-V-B-N. From the time our alarm clock rings in the morning to when we turn the lights off at night, electricity plays an important role in our lives. But most of the time, we don't even think about it. And you don't have to because the employees at Medina Electric Cooperative are behind the scenes making sure you get reliable, affordable electricity delivered to your house or business. Your cooperative is here for you, and we have been since 1938. Connect with Medina Electric on Facebook, Twitter, or at medinaec.org. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Northside Gym, home of the Harlan Hawks, where we are in set number four. Medina Valley leads right now, two sets to one, and they have a 21 to 20 advantage right now in the fourth set. Panthers with the serve, Christine Sherhart, the libero, back behind the service line, coming out of the timeout. The serve is to the back row, the Hawks are setting it up. Back row attack by the Hawks, dug out by Sanchez. Set up by Sherhart, nice swing by Griggs, but that's gonna be blocked, point for the Hawks. So it's a 21-21 game now. Rotation changes for the Hawks right now. That'll bring in Aguijo, Aguijo for the Hawks to the service line. So 21 to 21, we're in the fourth set. The serve is gonna catch the tape of the net and roll over for an ace. So that's gonna be point for the Hawks. The Hawks take a 22 to 21 advantage. Served by the Hawks to the back row. Received by Sherhart, set up for Gates. Gates with a big swing and the kill. Point Panthers, that's gonna tie it back up, 22 to 22. 16 kills now for Gates. Griggs behind the service line, she'll be serving for the Panthers. Lefty serve is over to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. Cross court swing by the Hawks, dug out by Sherhart. Set up by Griggs, push over by Gates set up by the Hawks. Cross court swing by the Hawks. Received by the Panthers, set up to Gates. Couldn't get it over the net. It's a point for the Hawks. Panthers need to settle down and play some good offense here. Yeah, they need to break this real quick. Panthers are calling a timeout. So it's a 23 to 22 set four right now. We gotta win by two, go to 25. So the, there's a timeout on the floor, gonna be taken by the Panthers. We need to roll off a few points here. Yeah, today. we need to roll off a few points. We're gonna stay with you here because we're getting right to the end of this match. It's 23 to 22. We're in set number four. Panthers hold a two to one set advantage and we don't wanna to go to set five. So we, we need to come get this little roll going right here. We need to, to run off some points and take this game four. Panthers coming out of the, their timeout. The Hawks are already out of their timeout. Panthers come out. It's going to be the, the serve will be with the Hawks right now. Let's break this serve. 
Willis with the serve. And here we go. Serve to the back row. And that's going to go oh, for an ace. That is not what it you went need. to the back row, and, and it, it got shanked is what it did for a point for the Hawks. So 24 to 22, set point for the Hawks. Willis behind the service line. Serve to the back row. And it's going to be a serve for an ace for the set. On the Panthers back row, unable to handle the last two serves. So, we're all squared away at two sets apiece. We're all squared away at two sets apiece. We're going to go into the fifth and final set of this match. And with that being said, we'll take a, a quick br a break and come back for set number five. Panther Volleyball will return after this these messages. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Headed out to the game? Then make a stop at your local Valley Mart convenience store. With 12 area locations, Valley Mart is always right around the corner. Fuel yourself and your vehicle with quality branded gas and diesel, snacks and fountain drinks. Always convenient, well lit with clean restrooms. Valley Mart, family owned and operated since 1984 and a proud supporter of Medina Valley Athletics and area youth sports for over 30 years. Double T Outfitters offers deer, duck, turkey, quail, and exotic hunts in Southwest Texas on over 20,000 low fenced acres. They facilitate professional guide services, lodging, and fantastic meals while providing the best in Southwest hunting. Contact Double T Outfitters to find out details about their current package hunts. Contact owner Brett Ferguson at 210-413-1597 or online at DoubleTHunting.com. Nobody can design, create, or maintain your lawn better than 3D Landscaping and Irrigation. With over 17 years of experience, owner Ray Doyan and his crew take pride in their craftsmanship and service. They're fully insured, offer free estimates, and multiple references, so you know you're getting the best. 3D does landscaping, lawn maintenance, irrigation, tree installation, lighting, and more. Whether it's residential or commercial, 3D Landscaping and Irrigation has you covered. Give 3D a call at 830-985-9115 or find us online at threedlandscaping.com. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We're going to go to a fifth and final decisive set here. It's a 2-2, two -two, all squared away sets. Two sets, Medina Valley, two sets, Harlem. We're going into set number five to decide this district match. The difference between in set number five, we only go to 15, so we need to be aware of that. So it's going to be a quick, a quick set. And it's been very exciting so far. I mean, we've got, we've got all kinds of stats. I and mean, we have a, a couple of Medina Valley players, Gates and, and Griggs, with 16 kills apiece so far. So the, the Panthers have got to really put leave it all out on the court right now to try to finish this off. It's gonna be a, this would be a huge win for the Panthers if they can do this. It's already been a great a great matchup so far. Absolutely, Dwayne. And uh, do you want to tell a little bit about uh, the fifth set? What happens here? The fifth set. It's not a traditional. Yeah, I just, yeah, I just explained that. We're only going to go to sorry, 15. I'm over here staring at my. Uh, yeah, we're only going to go to 15, so it'll go quick. So you you need to play almost error free in this set here. Yeah, and the girls are tired, but uh, you know they they need to, this is this is what you play for. They this can is what yeah. you uh, you know you, you you work all summer for, and you come in and do your three a days or two a days, yep. and you know you need well, to dig deep. The fifth and final set, the Panthers are going to send out to the court. Well, cool. Han, DeWitt, Hurtado, Griggs, and Gates. And right before we get started, we'll do a typical uh, rotation change or where the libero comes in and, and Han will go out. So right now they're checking the rosters for the fifth set. No free set, the Panthers are good. doing they got to do their paperwork and I mean it's it's been a great match so far the stands are still full people have been on their feet all day it's gone back and forth you know oh. we've had a little bit of everything we've even had some judgmental calls by the, the referees no you never have any judgment you never have any of those 
So we'll now we'll do our libero change out. Schuhart will come in. Gates will go out. I said Han earlier, but Gates will go out. Panthers will bring Cameron Griggs to the service line. Griggs has had a great match so far. Let's see if she can continue it and let's finish this off. Served by Griggs is to the back row. Going to be set up for Jackson on the outside. Jackson with a kill right away. Yeah, you knew they'd go to her, and they're going to go to her as often as they can here early in this fifth You know, that's match. only 11 kills by Jackson, but you would think it was a whole lot more than that. Willis to the serve for the, the Hawks. Dug out by the Panthers. That's huge right there. Yes, big, it big is. hit by Megan Hahn. Megan Hahn with a kill. Good serve by Griggs. And the Panthers, the, the best thing they can do is not let, let the score get away from them like they have in the previous set. So one-to-one -one is our tie right now. McCool behind the service line. She'll be serving for the Panthers. Her serve is a floater to the back row. Set up. Set up for Jackson and a big kill for Jackson. Mm -hmm. So two-to-one advantage. And Jackson's going out already. And Jackson's going out on her rotation. Interesting. So the Hawks are bringing number 13, the libero Gomez, back behind the service line. Her server go to the back row. Received by McCool. Pushed back across by Hahn. A little roll shot. Set up by the Hawks. Blocked by DeWitt. But it falls to the floor for a point for the Hawks. So 3-1 to one now is your score. Gomez will go to the service line again. Gomez the serve to the back row, received by and dug out by Hurtado. Another roll shot by Hahn to the back row. Hawks having trouble with it, but they get it back over with the free ball. Set up by Griggs, another, another roll shot by Hahn. Pushed back over. A little dump shot by the Hawks for a point that finds the floor. So Harling goes up quickly, four to one. Panthers call a quick timeout. We'll stay with you, because this will probably be just a short one minute timeout. So right what we didn't want to happen, we didn't want the store to, to get away from us like they did in the previous four sets, the way they started. But that, that's exactly what's happened. Harlan has jumped out to a 4-1 to advantage early in this fifth and final set. So the Panthers in their huddle. Coach Griggs giving him some hopefully co great coaching advice, which he's had all day today. They've, well, uh, they've come back every time. Dwayne, I'm sorry. I'm over here in radio silence because uh, the game of volleyball is just not our forte. <laughs> but you're doing a great job calling the play-by-play, -play, I do have to say. But well, to me, it's very exciting. Well, I've been following this for years now. So Gomez behind the service line for the Hawks. Both teams out of their timeout. Gomez's serve is going to be to the back row. Returned by Hurtado. Swing by Hahn back over. Another push dump. Tip by the yeah, Hawks. And it, it, it's just hard to, you they know. They found something. Yeah. They found something and they keep going back to it So now. point for the Hawks. That's so a 5-1 advantage. Now the Hawks, Gomez still behind the service line. Her server go to the back row. Re received by Schuhart. Set up for DeWitt. DeWitt with the swing. Returned by... The Hawks, outside swing by the Hawks. Re dug out by McCool. Free ball back over the net. A set by the Hawks. Blocked by the Panthers. Set up by Griggs. Cross court swing by Hahn. It comes it's back in. across. Another cross, a little push shot by Hahn that falls in for the kill. There you go. Good hustle by uh, Megan Hahn on that Panthers series. Panthers needed that. So pa Harley now with a 5-2 lead. And that's going to take Sherhart, the libero, back behind the service line. Service to the back row. It's going to be set up by the Hawks. Outside swing. Front blocker's got a hand on it. It's going to be set up by Griggs. DeWitt with the swing. That's in. Oh. And that's going to be called out. Nice swing He's by right DeWitt that was right on the line. Line judge called it out, though. Yeah, he's right on it, too. He had a better view than, than we did. So rotation change. For the Hawks, Hawks holding a 6-2 advantage. It's going to be number nine, Hanspard, for the Hawks to serve now. Her server go to the back row. Set up by Griggs. That one 
was in. Gates brings down the hammer for a kill. So 6-3 is our score now. Number 17 on the kill for, for Gates. That'll bring Garza off the bench. DeWitt will go out. Garza comes in for the serve. Serve's going to be to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. Nice dig by Sherhart. Free ball over the net. It's going to be set up by the Hawks. Hawks set it up for an outside swing. Dug out by Sherhart. Nobody can get to Nobody it. there for her. Dug out by Sherhart. Nobody in the front row to help her out. So Garza will go back out, out after her serving duties. Sanchez back in. Falaha with the serve. Received by McCool in the back row. It's going to be set up by Sanchez. That's it. Nice long nice <laughs> swing by Cameron Griggs. It falls right inside the outside line for a point for the Panthers. Mm -hmm. So our score now is Harlan 7, Medina Valley 4. Another nice kill by Griggs. Hurtado. Hurtado with the serve. And that's going to be a server serve for the Panthers. Goodness, goodness, goodness. And we can't have those in the fifth set. So 8-4 advantage for the Hawks. Jackson's back in the game. Gallo to the service line and Jackson to the front row for the Hawks. Serve to the back row. Received by Hurtado. Set up by Sanchez. Big swing by Griggs, but it's dug out by the Hawks. There you go. Set up by the Hawks, Unforced but it's swinging error. in the net. Unforced error for the Hawks. Point for the Panthers. So Libero go out. Sure hearts out. Hahn is in. Gates behind the service line. Eight to five advantage for the Hawks. Hawks setting it up. A little push. Set up by Sanchez. Swing by Griggs, but blocked. McCool with a swing. That was in her face. How's that not a double? How's that not a double hit, Dwayne? A swing by Hahn into the net. How, how is that not a double it's hit when she hits it and it bounces up and hits her in the if face? If you block it, you can hit it again. No, the, the back row. She bumped it, and it bounced up and hit herself in the nose. <laughs> and they didn't call it. That's a tough one. So we have a 9-5 nine, nine, advantage Harlan. Remember, we only played a, to 15. 18, Arguijo back in to serve for the Hawks. Servers to the back row, dug out by, by Shearhart, sent all the way back across the net. Jackson with a big swing, but blocked by Hahn. Set up on the outside to hit, blocked by Griggs. But that's going to be called out. So Panthers will call a timeout. We have a 10-5 to 5 advantage for the Hawks. Panthers will call timeout, and uh, we're going to go ahead and take a quick timeout too. So Panther Volleyball will return after these messages. M-V-B-N. Here at Medina Valley Broadcast Network, we love all sports. We currently broadcast football, volleyball, basketball, softball, and baseball. We not only serve Medina Valley, we also can broadcast other schools in the area in multiple sports. If your business is interested in having us broadcast a single game or a season, and you want to be part of the action, contact Jeff Stivers at 830-931-4504 or email him at jeff at mvbn.net. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. Panthers coming out of their timeout. We are in set number five with a 10-5 advantage on the Hawks, or the Hawks have a 10-5 advantage. So the Panthers have got some work to do right now if they want to get back into this game because this last set only goes to 15. Hawks will retain... The serve. Aguijo with the serve. Dug out by Shuhart. Set up by Sanchez. Swing by Griggs. Blocked by blocked by the Hawks. Panthers could not come up with it. So that's going to be point Hawks. So we're going to go to an 11-5 advantage Hawks. Hawks will keep the serve. Aguijo with the serve. Panthers need to break the serve here. They need to get a point. Serve received by Sherhart, set up by Sanchez. 
Little push shot by Griggs. It's going to be set up by the Hawks. Big swing by the Hawks. It's going to be out. Point Panthers, just what we needed. So 11-6 is our score. We are in set number five. And there's life. There is Rotation life. changed. Taylor DeWitt back in. Madden Sanchez going back out. Griggs will be behind the service line. Griggs serve is going to be to the back row. Set up by the Hawks. Jackson shot blocked. And it, it goes back over the oh. net. Woo! Hahn with a little tip shot back over the net. And it's going to find the floor of Point Panthers. So 11-7 is our score now. Griggs will keep, keep the serve. Panthers need to work hard here. The serve by the lefty is going to be to the back row. Received by the Hawks, set up Jackson for the swing. Nice dig by Shuhart. Set up by Griggs. McCool with the swing to the back row. Received by the Hawks. A little push shot by the Hawks. Set up by the Panthers. Swing by Griggs back over the net. Free ball over the net by the Hawks. Set up by Griggs. Hahn with the shot. That's going to find inside the back row for a point for the Panthers. So 11 to 8 is our score. Menina Valley slowly getting back into this game. Panthers will keep the serve. Griggs will be behind the service line. Serve is going to be in the back row. Dug out by the libero. Hawks set it up to Jackson. Jackson with a big swing. Nice dig by Hurtado. The set by Griggs and a swing by McCool that goes into the net. So point Hawks. 12 to 8 is our score. Remember we only go to 15. Willis has the serve again for the Hawks. Dug out by McCool. A little push shot by Hahn. They get saved by the Hawks. Oh no, they're going to say a touchy antenna, which did look like a touchy antenna. So that's going to be a point for the Panthers. So 12-9 our score. Panthers desperately need to run off some points here. McCool's going to have the serve. The serve by McCool to the back row, dug out by the libero. Going to be set up. Kill shot by the Hawks. The block was there, but it fell on Panther side. So 13-9 is our score. All right, no mistakes here now. Gomez with the serve. Serve by Gomez to the back row. Dug out by Hurtado, set up by Griggs. Two-handed push to the back by DeWitt. Going to be set up for the Hawks for a swing. That's going to fall for a point. Kill shot by the Hawks. And that's going to be match point. We're looking at match point, 14 to 9. Panthers got to dig deep right here. Gomez behind the service line. Received by Hart. set up by Griggs. Hahn with a with a swing. Back across to the Panthers. Set up by Hurtado. DeWitt with a free ball over the net. Set up by the Hawks. Gonna be a big swing. Dug out by Shrillhart. Griggs setting it up. DeWitt with a swing that's gonna go out. And that is going to be the match. So the Panthers fight valiantly, Lee, but they could not come up with the win. So 15-9 is our score in the fifth and final set. Great job by both teams. Exciting match. Panthers just was a little bit short on, on, in this last set. Yeah, you know, a uh, couple of calls could have gone the other way. Uh, you know, you can always question things like that. But, you know, you look back at that first match, the first set, you know, you come out and you get beat 25 to 4, 5, whatever it was, Dwayne. And, uh, you know, you're, you're clawing your way back after that. Yeah, point. and but they did a good job doing that, though. They Let's did go ahead and take a break, and we'll come back and wrap it up. Panther Volleyball will be back after these messages. This is MVBN, the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. At North Park Chevrolet in Casterville, we offer the most exceptional experience in sales and service. Shop our large new and pre-owned selection with complimentary maintenance on new vehicles, upfront posted pricing, 10-day trade-in appraisal guarantee, and a 48-hour return policy. Our factory trained technicians will take care of you after the sale with easy menu pricing, courtesy vehicles, and a complimentary car wash with every service. Come see us at 1955 Highway 90 East or call 210-640-3184. 
Shop us online or schedule service at npchevy.com. Experience Chevrolet, the North Parkway. Headed out to the game? Then make a stop at your local Valley Mart convenience store. With 12 area locations, Valley Mart is always right around the corner. Fuel yourself and your vehicle with quality branded gas and diesel, snacks and fountain drinks. Always convenient, well lit with clean restrooms. Valley Mart, family owned and operated since 1984 and a proud supporter of Medina Valley Athletics and area youth sports for over 30 years. Peerless Equipment, your South Texas irrigation experts. Peerless Equipment specializes in sales and service of irrigation equipment to the agricultural and wildlife industries. This includes hose reels, big guns, pivot systems, underground pipelines, turbine well pumps, booster pumps, motors, valves, and an inventory of much more. Stop by one of their locations in Hondo and Pearsall or give them a call at 210-434-7867. Peerless Equipment, bringing water to you. You're watching Medina Valley Sports. This is the Medina Valley Broadcast Network. Welcome back to Panther Volleyball. We've just seen an exciting match between the Harlan Hawks and the Medina Valley Panthers. Panthers took the Hawks into five sets, but they came out a little short there at the end. The match goes to Harlan, so what that does, Jeff, that puts Medina Valley tied for second with Southwest. So Harlan now goes to 13-0 in district. Menina Valley goes to 9-3. And, and I'm not sure what Southwest do, did tonight, but they, um, they're at 9-3 prior to tonight. So as a, without knowing what Southwest did, we're tied for second with Southwest uh, for, the, yeah, for the second spot. So, yeah, you know, what great effort by the girls, great effort. And, uh, uh, you know, you can't ask for anything else. Uh, they came out, they played hard. They, they took them a little while to get a little warmed up. You know, one game a little too late. But, uh, you know, they came back and they fought hard in those two middle games, you know. They did. And third they, match, they played well. They found the rhythm. And, you know, I, one, one thing I like to look at too, Jeff, is I like to look at it as we're not at 100%. Um, we're still missing Kyla Solis, and she, she's due back soon. So when we get to 100%, I expect a lot of great things still to come. So Absolutely. we have a match this Friday, October 12th, against Eagle Pass Win. That is Parents' Night. That will be at the Medina Valley Gym. Freshman and JV will be playing at 5. Varshi will play at 6. So we have that match left. And the next Tuesday we have Somerset at Somerset, followed by Friday. Um, that will be at, at – there will be a match against Florzul at home. And we'll finish up on October 23rd, a Tuesday matchup against Southside. So we've got some tough games still ahead of us, and there's still four, four more four more matches to go for this season before we even talk about yeah, playoffs. That, that Southside match, you know, down there could have some playoff implications it, it, as it, well. You're darn and, right it will. if the right people lost tonight, Medina Valley could have probably uh, – clinched a playoff spot tonight even with the loss so uh, we will be sending out uh, information Dwayne here in the next couple of days uh, for volleyball playoffs we'd love to have you on board uh, talk to your businesses talk to your families if you'd like to be a sponsor uh, give me a call contact me send me your email address yeah, and I'll send you the package even if you just want to the sponsor you know the talk show for volleyball volleyball is really becoming a, a, a big big time program here in Medina Valley. There's been a lot of support. They're filling the stands up. A lot of people are talking about it. You know, when you start talking playoffs, it gets exciting. So if you want to be a, uh, a sponsor of the athletic program or, or what we do here in broadcasting these this games, uh, um, give Jeff a call and he'll talk to you about all the um, the packages he has available and, and, and talk to you maybe a little bit about what we got coming and for the playoffs. They're kicking us out of here, Dwayne, so yep. we're going to have to wrap it up. So we'll, we're going to wrap it up. Um, not sure. Go to our website. We'll know probably in the next couple of days which is the next game that we'll broadcast. But we'll do a couple of more as we get closer to the season, at least at least one more, hopefully two, before the this season is over. With, uh, with saying that, for Jeff Starbers and myself, we want to say good night and God bless, and we'll talk to you next time. And don't forget, Medina Valley Panther football is this, is this Thursday night, not Friday, but it's this Thursday night. It's going to be against the Kennedy Rockets. They will be playing at... Edgewood Stadium, is that correct? Ed, yeah, uh, yeah, Edgewood Stadium right outside of Kennedy. Right off General McMullen, just south off of Highway 90, right next to Kennedy High School. So, again, with that, for Jeff Starvers and myself, we'll say good night and God bless.